Okay, so let's just go over this really quick. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial, a full tutorial of a pre-hooktail pit run. Um, I'm talking, we're going to show star piece locations, shine sprites. Uh, we're going to talk about who to upgrade, badges you can equip, and what you should equip, how you level up during the pit, like general strategies. It's going to be pretty comprehensive. Um, and just to clarify, it's in the very base form, so there's no other restrictions. Yep. There's just a standard pre hooktail pit run. Yep, it's a standard pre hooktail pit. Um, if you're just stumbling on this stream, um, and you may know me, but you don't know Coop, Coop is one of the best TTYD, just Paper Mario players in general. Um, he does a lot of really dope challenge runs, especially where the pit is concerned. And he's actually doing a 1 HP Mario pre hooktail pit run right now on his YouTube. I highly suggest you check out his YouTube. Right there. Uh, it's been a dope run so far. <laughs> I don't know if I would consider myself to be the best now. Like, it's been a while, but I, I think I'm past my prime. Hey. I still know a lot, though. Yeah, I mean, it's like, even if you're, even if you're like, you know, a little veteran, like, there's still a lot of info you can share, you know? It's kind of how I feel. <laughs> yeah, during, like, during certain parts of that run, I was like, I was feeling it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Alrighty, um. Then I got, then I got overconfident. That's the bane of every challenge runner, right? <laughs> yeah. Happens every pit run. That's how that's how the pit gets you. You think you're doing good, and then one floor decides to uh, put you in for a rude awakening. All right, so um, I have here. All I've done in this file is get to pa I pass Crump. So pass like that cutscene where so. Gosh, <laughs> what up, Give Stack? Um, so yeah, we have to go to Frankly Still. Um, really quick, I am using the practice codes. Uh, this is to speed up Mario so we can get to the pit faster. Um, I have turned off like auto super guards and stuff, but I have button inputs and super guard and guard timings on uh, for your enjoyment. Um, I don't know how detailed we'll be getting about like guard super guard timings. Probably more talk in general generalities there. Um, so yeah, and then I have this this nice code. We my my favorite code. Um, all right. So uh, yeah, let's let's get <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> um. So are you gonna start with getting star pieces? Or? Yes. Yeah. 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 So um. Oh, well, you got an input song. I do have button inputs on, yes indeed. <laughs> yep, keeping that on. So, um, in case you don't know this, <laughs> you can come back here and get your 50 coins back. And then there's a star piece right here. So how many, I, I can't remember, there's 21 star pieces in total? 22? If you include the hazard respawn glitch? Yeah, yeah. There are indeed 21. 21, okay. With, without it? There's 15. Okay, so we are going to be getting all 21, and we're going to go over has a respawn glitch as well. Um, you don't have to use it, but we're going to show it just in case you want to. Alright, so here's another star piece. This one, I didn't know about this one for a long time. <laughs> so while we're here, let's grab our third star piece. Ultra Hammer early? No, no. <laughs> what up, hero? We're not gonna do that. Right. <clears throat> I actually forgot about that one. <laughs> I thought there were only two in this room. Yep. That's those are the three. All right, let's go talk. To, oh no, let's get this one behind here. All right. Oh my God, I was zooming too fast. Jesus. All right, we're gonna go through all of this. So, um, the amount of badges you can get with and without hazard respawn is pretty significant. 
Like, those six star pieces go a long way. Um... But I wanna... I wanna say something right now while we're just kinda like, you know, getting started with the run, is that like, you don't need Hazard Respawn, you don't need like, all this stuff. Um... It, this is just if you feel like you need a little extra oomph, um, like a little more of a safety net, then, you know, getting both partners upgraded and six extra star pieces is really good. Because, um, you know, that's like an extra badge, basically. Or two, depending on what you're spending them on, you know? Yeah, I want to say it's uh, like a game-breaking change. Just gives you a little more HP um, on Koops' side. If you're gonna upgrade him as well. Yeah. Um as for badges you can get from Dazzle, um like the extra start the extra six star pieces are a lot, but I don't think like oh, it depends well, what you get, but I'm gonna make these battles faster. Like it depends what you get, but I don't think any of those badges you can get with six star pieces are really that broken, so No, no. Yeah. It's a cushion. It's a little cushion. Okay, we're gonna grab at least one fire flower. <clears throat> White masks? Uh, no, I think at this point we're just gonna... We're just gonna grab the experience stuff. So you can use... Uh, this is just for the Goomba Trio, because I just don't want to... I don't want to waste my time on them. But, uh... Depending on how you're... We're, I think we're going to try to do as little prep as possible besides Hazard Respawn. We'll talk about it, though. But you can use... If you don't want the experience, like if you want to be able to level up a little more, you can get uh, Fright Masks instead of Fire Flowers. Yeah, I don't, I don't really think starting level is that big of a deal. Um... Like, I've heard a lot from people over the years that, mm -hmm. like, you should start as low as possible. Mm -hmm. So, like, you don't miss out on free heals, but... Um, it's it's only for the early floors, right? Where you'll be getting the free heals? Like... Yeah. It'll, yeah. it'll pretty much all average out in the end, so... It's pretty insignificant. Yeah, that's true, Gibsack. Yeah, you do get life shrooms. Um, well, we'll definitely talk about West Side. Oh, what am I doing? I have Levitate too. Ha <laughs> ha! I will be turning off Levitate. I promise. Okay. Well. He's dead. I will be turning off uh, Levitate and the Zoom once we get into the pit, by the way. Nice. Let's get that. <clears throat> the mushroom's just a safety net. Uh, I would always grab the mushroom, by the way, if you're going to do heads of respawn, just in case you need a little, a few more attempts. Um, and if you don't know, right here, pretty lucky. Just line it up with that crack in the wall. Yep, that's the first badge you get in this game. Not power smash. Nope, not power smash. It's actually, it's actually pretty lucky. How many star pieces do we have right now? I think I have, we have five, right? So there were three in the yeah. square and one in east. Okay, and yeah, then you got five. One behind Dazzle and one just now. <laughs> that's so that's five. <laughs> Give stack, please. No one's, no one's doing that first. <laughs> Alrighty. FB Cell, or if you do HRG, I would say FB Plus is one of the badges you can sell for more coins. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to go over that for sure. <laughs> Money. 
to zoom with the plane? I can't do that, man. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, I need to get... Oh, I have a fire flower. Never mind. We're good. We're good. I have a fire flower for a uh, blooper. I feel like just a. I'm going to say it, but it, you, you don't have to do this. You can actually HRG past blooper, but we're, uh, we're not going to do it here, but you can. It's really more uh, for the speed run of pre hooktail pit, but this is not a speed run tutorial. Well, I, we can, I don't we can know take if that's recommended because you'll miss <laughs> out on Sweet Treat. You can actually do it after getting Sweet Treat. Oh, right. Like, you can get Sweet Treat here and then HRG pass blooper to save the, like, five minutes the fight takes. I've seen a few speedruns where they just skip yeah, most, Sweet Treat entirely. Yeah, if I mean, if you're trying to go fast, yes. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't end too well for them. <laughs> yeah. Like, they... I, I don't think I've seen a run completed. I've seen only a couple, but it's like, you have to, you know, you can get screwed over so much more easily. Sweet Treat is an amazing move for this run. The worst feeling is when you run out of FP against <laughs> Bonetail, and you just rely on Happy Flower. Yep. Yep. No. Is it Treat Easter? Yeah, Record Run does skip it, yes. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. What's the time? I oh, it's super fast. I, I think they got some crazy mover luck. Ah, uh, here we go. Power Smash! Yes! Alrighty! Okay, we're just gonna go straight in. To blooper. No, definitely not what you want for a first time. <laughs> oh, we should equip that, huh? We'll just... I guess we'll equip pretty lucky right now. Okay, let's go grab the star piece behind Dazzle just while we're here. Uh, we're gonna go over Dazzle badges once we get all the star pieces. We'll take a look at those. Alrighty. I don't think there's too much to say about Blooper. I feel like if you're if you're doing a pre-octail pit, unless you've never played TTYD, which I don't really recommend doing pre-octail pit unless you've played through the game at least once. Uh, there's not much to say about this boss. <laughs> Just smack him, you know. Yeah, I was thinking, should I go over a strategy for this? No. <laughs> Use a fire flower. <laughs> it's always fun to fight him after Prolog Pit, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're. I should have power smashed to save time, but it's okay, it's okay, it's not necessary. Okay. Hey, blooper's done. Once on emulator? Yeah, I mean as long as you've only as long as you've beaten the game once. You know? <laughs> Otherwise it's like it gets crazy, I think. Was that your first pit run ever, JD Easter? Because I think that would be pretty impressive. I think so. Nice, dude. Disable pre chapter 2 pit before PHP? That's dope. That's interesting. Alright, star piece right here. 
Another mushroom. You don't... Yeah. I only pick up these mushrooms for HRG. Um, really. Otherwise, it's kind of whatever. <laughs> Dang, JD Aster. That's crazy. Alright, this is also a mush. Um, I also grab these just... A few extra coins never hurt. Okay. Ooh, close call. Close call is, uh... I, I would say... A pretty decent badge for this run. Yeah, it's pretty good. You stack it with... Pretty luckies and lucky day. And... You happen to be in danger in the pit yeah it can I think it gives I, you like a 59% evasion rate or something I feel like uh, it just even on its own it's a great way to like maybe get saved against tarantulas like any enemy with a multi-hit or something like that you never know when close call can come in clutch in a run like this Yeah, I did my research, J.D. Easter. <laughs> right, this bush right here. Everyone's favorite mystery. Alrighty. I, I forgot about that mystery and the mushroom <laughs> mystery. But Not I, remember, the... I remember it horsetail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not, not that they're very uh, useful. I don't think we need another fire flower, right? I don't think... Do I need to buy another fire flower? No, I think we get another one. Yep. If only you could cook it. You have one right now, right? Yeah, I think you get another one on the way to Stone Fortress. You get two power blocks. But... I think you get a fire flower, too. Oh, wait, I think you might get one. I'm not sure. Could get a... <laughs> a bonus peachy peach? That'd be amazing. Turtley leaves. I love those. <laughs> oh, hold on. I gotta read this so it doesn't bother me anymore. Okay. Isn't that the only you email you get? Uh, yeah, but I th I think so I think someone tells you about it. They're like, hey, have you checked your email? Yo, what up, Grizz? Okay, there's a star piece in this bush. This is also the flurry bush area, in case you were wondering. Oh yeah, this is the fire flower. No, it's power block, never mind. I was wrong. Fright mask? Yo, what up, Reed? It's all you need. Hey, Fright Mask is no, legendary. Wait. I think that was fat guy gave stack. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I Fright Masked Bone Tail th the turn that I beat him in my 10 HP prologue. Just FYI. But did it work? No. <laughs> if you're talking about like actually KOing him with it, I think that was fat guy, yeah. My kiss thief works. I think I've done that once. Stream is going great, man. We're getting closer to the the oh. meaty portion of this run. Okay, so the fire flower is in the room after this. Yeah, one. it's in the room after this one. <clears throat> No, sorry, JD Aster. I'm sorry. If only. <laughs> wow, I blocked that really early. Like, really early. 
two of eight. There it is. All righty. We're moving right along. You're going to fail this quiz or No, no, we're going to complete it. I don't have the order was. I don't have a pow block. Yo, by the way, GD Easter, that video is actually wild. Oh, I don't know what this is. 16. 16, thank you. <laughs> I always forget that one. Yeah, that was it. Okay, over 16. Yeah, Grizzly, I'm struggling right now. Oh. Yo, what up, Omi? 10 floors to go, though. It's the collab everyone's always wanted. You never knew you wanted this collab, and then you see it, and you're like, wait a minute. Just wait till we get to the pit. <laughs> okay, so by the way, uh, these fire flowers are just for the fuzzies. Um, God, I should have bought power jump. For gold fuzzy. Coop is here, yes! Milky Bounce is pretty interesting for Pyrocto Pit. It is. I want to say it's super useful, but they're good against, like, in a couple of situations I can think of. Maybe we'll run into one. I feel like Multi Bounce is better if you don't upgrade Coop, uh, Coops, because then, you know, that little extra damage you can actually, like, do with Mario. You can actually finish him off. Yeah, I mean, oh, I think okay. against Dark Boost, for example, they have 8 HP. Yep, yep. Coops will do 7 Yep. with Power Fell, and then you can finish them off. But then you can just use Fire Drive, so... I mean, you can, yeah. <laughs> it, but if you're like, if, you, if your FP is low, for whatever reason, it's a, it's a solid. I think the one situation where it's like probably the best option is against the group of parabuzzies oh yeah ground oh yeah and, and uh dark destroy them with power shell and dark koopas just to, so they stop attacking you yeah i have power smash equipped right i do there's no way you know what should we use our mystery should we use mystery on this guy <laughs> Why not? It doesn't sell for much, so... Oh my god, they're already here? Oh, I forgot about that. Hello? I'm trying to super guard them. Here comes... Here comes the, uh, here comes the Thunder Rage. Oh, damn. Well, hey, I'll take the Fire Flower, too, actually. <clears throat> Did you know you could title the Fuzzy Horde? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that until, like, my 10th playthrough. Oh, no! Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, not that I've really, like, tried, it's just, I just knew you could. Alright, first level up. Here we go, okay. So, Chat what do you- level ups? No, please, please. What do you, what do you, uh, usually put your first level up into? Um, probably FP, but- yeah, I usually do FP too. For pre hook tail pit, yeah. It's gotta be FP or BP. I would say FP, just so that, like, because the beginning of the pit is so Coop-centric, you want to have, like, you just want to have a little more FP. Like, you don't need 
the BP just yet. It's not like you got fire drive, and you don't really need quick change in the beginning. So, yeah, if you're starting at level two, I would say FP is your best bet. Yep. And we'll so probably you get more be. Power in. We will probably be starting at level two. Zoom. Oh, there's no way. Oh my god. Well, destroyed. Actually destroyed. I guess I'm I'm not going to beat these guys. I'm just going to run. I don't need to fight this. It's going to take too long. I'm kind of disappointed you skipped the in coupon. Why? It sells for 5 coins. Oh, does it or, really? <laughs> or you could um I didn't know. That. I mean, you, you you took damage just now, right? You could yeah, I'll be I'll just be good. fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> I didn't realize you could sell for five. I didn't realize it was five coins. That's insane. I mean, that's usually how much it costs to stay at the inn, right? Uh, I mean, it, it depends on the end. It depends on the end. It's five coins in Rogueport. We're going to buy one Fire Flower. You don't have to buy these items, by the way. This is just to speed up some of these like fights as we're trying to get to the pit a little faster. So we can get into like the meat. Yeah, we'll of be the back run. here to get um, Mega Rush B. Yep. And probably a few POW blocks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's like, I recommend bringing, like for a, for a casual crypto pit, I definitely recommend Absolutely. one or two POW blocks. Absolutely. Dark Koopa Trolls are no joke. My least favorite enemy. Actually? Yeah. I mean, for me, it was wizards for a long time. Yeah, it's like, um, it's so weird, man. I can do all these wild super guards, you know, like these really dumb ones, like, like Ice Puff Breath and the wizards. But freaking Dark Koopa Patrol Power Shell, I just, I am so bad at it, dude. It's my my one weakness. No, I give stuck. I'm not offended. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> I I don't like Dark Koopa Joes either. Poison puffs are horrible. Yes, that's true. I should tell um, Aran straight to his face that Arantulas are probably my most hated enemies. Oh, that's fa oh, we're gonna grab this. While we're here, while we're here, we're gonna grab this. Ah, happy heart. Yeah. Hello, I poison, money. <laughs> I think poison puffs are worse than elite wizards, but that's just me. No, would agree. I only think elite wizards are bad when there's five of them. Yeah. Agreed. When you get like the elite wizard two poison puff loadout, it's like the elite wizard is whatever at that point, in my opinion. <laughs> but four poison puff loadout is actual hell. Alright, we're moving right along, so, just in case you weren't aware, uh, in pre-Hooktail Pit, you can get right up to before you fight Hooktail. Um, you just can't beat Hooktail, but you can get right up to where you fight her. So that is what we will be doing. We're going to grab literally everything we can in this castle, and then we're dipping. And our think, prep will almost be complete. Okay, go ahead. I think it's right until you get last NP. That's usually where I stop. But you, um, like the third. What about like the the shine sprite, right? Oh, there's a shine sprite there at the at the top. You can so grab you can grab okay. last MP on the way down, like oh, after totally after right. you get that. Right. Okay. I haven't played this chapter in. Nah, it's like, been a while, huh? Yeah. I'm still coming off the heels of my hundred percent run. <laughs> Okay, here we go. That's a good. This power bounce is um not the Omega Broken Badge you'd think it. Is. Oh god, you'd think it is, but uh, it's still really good in Pre-Octel Pit. Yeah, if you're confident, unlike me, using power bounce, um, <laughs> you could get a lot of damage in. Oh yeah. But uh, if you're not, um, usually sleep sleepy stomp will work. Yep. Oh. Yep. Absolutely.
Eight total movers, Gibstack? Holy crap! Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, that's insane. Oh, except the 40s. That sucks, though. Uh, that that, do that does suck. But I bet they had uh, they had to have had, like, a, an attacking item for it or something, right? I just want to finish this guy off. Oh, just super guarded? Dang, so oh. that could be improved? Wow. That's still crazy. Okay. First shine sprite. Uh, just FYI, this is a more of a speedrun trick, but there's a way to get an extra shine sprite out of this, uh, but we're not going to do that today. Okay. Oh, whoops. 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 Oh, there's another star piece. Yep. We got to get a star piece over here. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, okay. Good, oh. I saved it. I saved it. I saved it. Thanks. Thanks, practice codes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to show this off. There's a cool little trick you can do to get this castle key without uh you just jump down and then you hold you hold down for a second and then you hold immediately up and you can get that uh that key without doing the whole switch thing or you can just that's do pretty, the switch that's pretty impressive i don't think i did that in my speed run yeah something i learned like i knew of the trick but i'm just not confident Cheating? I am cheating. Indeed, I am. Yes. You can jump that normally, really? Huh? I always thought you had to do uh, the speed swap jump. No. Yeah, you could jump. Huh? I made that jump. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I've never <What>? tried. <laughs> the worst feeling when you fall, though. Oh yeah. I wonder if I can levitate over all these. We're gonna find out. Doubt it. But are there invisible walls everywhere? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there are. <laughs> LB? What does LB do? Oh, ha <laughs> ha! That reloads the room. I don't know if that works in that cutscene, does it? If it does, that's I crazy. Th I think you'll respawn where you came from, so... That's crazy. But will the timer reset? Who knows? I don't know. Oh my god, I have to hold it for longer? Oh, end my suffering, please. He's calling you an idiot. <laughs> it's because I am. Stop! I feel personally attacked by that comment. All right, more money. Since we're not fighting Hooktail, you can just sell this attack effects R. Unless you somehow, some way, like the sound of crickets, which I do not. All right, we're gonna go back. A lot of people forget this. We gotta go back and get the key. You prefer frogs? <laughs> We got it. Okay. We're actually already almost done with Hooktail's Castle. What's that one, Olmi? Attack effects E? Yeah, what is E? Is it... I don't know. Oh, the Yoshi one from 64? You really gonna slander Peach Moan, Yo Omi? I only like attack FXP. 
Because people might mistake it for a partner badge. <laughs> Oh, okay. <clears throat> P is Bowser, right? I like that. I like that one actually. I, I have no idea. Pretty sure it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, this is a neat little trick. If you're good, you can get that life shroom. You are good. You can just drop down there too. Like you can just drop down and grab it. Uh, I recommend getting that life shroom, especially if you're like new to Priyokto Pit. Um, a little life insurance, always good, IMO. Alright. Grab all these. Okay, have the second shine sprite. Okay. Oh, I forgot. That's okay, we'll just... I don't think there's the way to avoid it. No, there's not. You just gotta kill him. <laughs> I'll grab those coins, sure. Okay. Here's a neat trick for this room, by the way. If you hate this guy... Oh my god, why did he do that? St come over here, man. Dude, this has worked every time I've done this. My trick! W what's wrong, bro? Okay, there we go. I don't know why he was still active. Usually he just sits there like this, instead of chasing you around, you know? That's how it was supposed to go. We're gonna grab this thing. Okay, we're just gonna actually gonna fall down because I can levitate up here. <laughs> oh yeah, the Nintendo Direct was sick. Alright, we're, I, I swear, we're like basically done with the castle. Uh, so there's one final star piece up here. I'm sorry, not star piece, uh, shine sprite. And that's it. There's nothing else beyond that door besides a couple enemies and Hooktail herself, so... Now we can just leave. Oh, oh there's no there's a, way. There's a last 10p. Yeah. So we're gonna go all the way all down here and collect last stand P, which is pretty solid for this run as well. Okay. I forget what tier last stand P got in our rankings. Oh god. Because it's not know. as good as last 10, but No. Oh, it is a normal jump. Huh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we're now we're done with we're done with now that you've gotten last MP. We are done with Hooktail's castle. It is time to finish up our prep. JDA sir, what did you and I put it as? What did we put it as? I don't think it was ranked very highly. I think we put it pretty low. All right. So first things first, we got to go back. Uh, how many? What's my? What are, my, what are our items right now? Okay, we're good. Gotta go back to Petalburg. Yeah, I don't know what I voted. I would probably say it's a C. <clears throat> we need one very amazing mirror multiplayer. Is amazing mirror out? Holy shit! I would. Wait, that sounds like a great stream. Alright, so in Petalburg, here it is. The mo one of the most important badges in pre hooktail Pit right here. Um, now, uh, there are actually challenges where you don't use Mega Rush P. We call that pre hooktail Pit No Mega Rush P. Simple name, I know. Oh, uh, Power Blocks. Let's buy two. Yeah? Two Power Blocks? Sounds good to me. And maybe a Mr. Softener. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh, spicy, but no. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the POW blocks are basically for... There's In the 70s, there's a triple Dark Koopa Patrol loadout. That loadout 
is like on par with like four poison puffs, four arantulas. Like it's one of the worst loadouts you can get. Um, having a pow block and using multi bounce completely destroys that loadout, which is amazing. So yeah, and you use pow blocks for dark Koopa Trolls, not dark bristols. Yeah, not dark bristols, dark Koopa Trolls. Simple descriptive names, but <laughs> please, JD Easter. So yeah, um. No Mega Rush P is a pretty, I would say, uh, definitely harder? I don't know. It, it really depends. Some people have a lot of trouble maintaining peril, um, which is, we're going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. Um, but once you learn how to do that, it becomes much easier to abuse Mega Rush P than it does to, like, get another badge and uh, not have Mega Rush P. Okay. So we... Oh, we're not... Sorry. We're not going to Dazzle just yet. <laughs> we're actually going <laughs> to do HRG right now. We're going to do it right now. Okay. It's going to be hard to explain this. Uh, basically... Say, just press A, or just jump on the first frame. Yeah, so... You take control of Mario. I'm going to... I'm going to... Exp uh, yes. Into the water. So I'm going to explain, like... The SP... Yeah, 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 we're gonna get that, too. Yeah. Oh, uh... Maybe we should go get that first, actually. JD Easter makes a good point. Let's just do that. Because otherwise, we're going way out of the way. We're actually gonna grab the Shine Sprite. And... The, uh... Star Piece, near the pit entrance. So... There's no way that just happened to me. I can't believe I just ran off this panel. Alright, so uh, up here is a Shine Sprite. This is our fourth one. Yeah, so those are the four you normally get. All right, just a quick trick. If you jump on like the, the tip of this and hold down immediately, you can jump over the gate. It's a little faster than using paper mode. Okay, and now we got the star piece here. Okay, now let's do... So how many star pieces do you have now? Right now, I have 14. There's one left, and it's the one behind the, like, through that gap on the east side. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, we'll, so... we'll, we'll grab that one. We'll grab that one. Okay, so, I'm just gonna do a really quick and dirty explanation. I'm sorry to anyone who, like, speedruns this game and I'd get it wrong, but to my understanding, when you enter a room, there's a moment where Mario's moving, okay? The frame that you have control of Mario, or, uh, say, so while Mario's moving through this space, he doesn't have an X position. Like, he doesn't have a position in the room. It's like, it's like a transition period, as far as the game's concerned. The frame that you, that you can control Mario, his position still hasn't been set. And when you're in, when you jump, Mario's position... Ha, uh, is Mario's current like X and Z position are set to fr where he originally jumped um, until you land and then his new position is set in that frame when you're transitioning that Mario you have control of Mario you can jump and you okay respawn position so when you jump in that one frame Mario has no respawn position set yet because the, the room you know, it hasn't given him yet, him yet because that one frame, he's still in this transition period, so to speak. If you jump into the water, um, as you know, jumping into a hazard respawns you from where you last were. If Mario has no position yet, it respawns in the middle of the room. That's just the way the game handles it. So, if you jump... Uh, I don't think that was it. If you jump as soon as you have control of Mario... It'll spawn him in the middle. You'll ca you can tell because that fish doesn't make a noise. So if you, if you hear the chomping, that means he did it wrong. Oh, man. My advice, hold down while he's running into the room, because you can hold down. And then just press A as soon as you feel like you have control. <laughs> Give me... This is why we have the mushrooms, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, I thought I had it. I got it. See here, you didn't hear the, the chomping. He had no position, so it respawns him into the middle of the room. We've done it. 
So, um, you have to do this twice to get over to Westside Rogueport, because otherwise ST stops your way. Um, so there's a Shine Sprite in this room. Gotta do it again. Oh, I messed that one up. Yep. Well, you explained it better than I could have. <laughs> I would have just said jump into the water. <laughs> Yo, what up, Clover? Sounds good, man. Thank you. Okay, and then in this room... There is an FP plus in this chest. Okay. And now that we're here, there's a couple extra items. Yo, what up, Dupless? A couple extra items you can grab. Gradual syrup. Um, I would say these items are not, like... Well, they're they're alright. Um, probably not something you're going to need for, like, a standard pre hook tail pit. But they're really good as you get, like... As you place more restrictions on yourself, those items get better. So once you get up here, there is a star piece here. And then let's go up. Welcome to Westside Rogueport. When you're not supposed to be in Westside Rogueport. <laughs> Alright, so immediately there's a star piece behind this pipe. There is a star piece behind this wall over here. And... There is a star piece behind this trash can. Uh, don't worry about the lottery, by the way. Super unlikely. I actually, I, it might just be flat out impossible, almost, to get anything besides the mushroom. Um. Okay, let's talk about the shop in here. All right. So, um, clearly, this shop is a little better than the other shop. There's life shrooms, which are very good. Super Shrooms. I don't know how much I would recommend Super Shrooms. They're, I guess they could be okay. Um, the could be okay against Spiky Parabuzzies. Yeah, the Voltrum. Or Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Oh yeah, Thunderbolt. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Um, the big thing in here, though, are Life Shrooms. Um, we're not going to be doing a lot of this for this particular run, because I think that you don't need to, but um, there is a way to grind coins. Uh, we'll tell you how to do it. Um, <clears throat> and you can grind to basically max coins in a few hours, and you can buy all life shrooms. You can have a whole inventory of life shrooms if you want. Um, I actually don't think that's the best loadout as far as items go, because again, if you encounter a really nasty loadout like triple dark goo patrols or something, like, you're gonna want something else, like a pow block. Because you might just lose, like, three life shrooms that fight, you know? Um, so. But, if you want a few more life shrooms, you can do that here. We're not going to buy any. <clears throat> Beyond the parlor, not really recommended. <laughs> not for pre hook tail pit. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so, there's the three shine sprites here. Let's... Get a couple more things, because you can paper mode through this grate. Refund badges? <laughs> yeah, man. Refund badges. Okay. Stack power jumps, too. Oh, alright. There's not here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there is... Soft stomp. Soft stomp. Probably will not be using that in this run. We will sell that. There's a star piece right here. Okay. There's nothing else we can get here. There's another shop here. Oh, there is another. You know what? Let's just show it. Um, I wouldn't recommend this shop, but it is here. Items are expensive. Yeah, um, the items are expensive. Items you want. And uh, two of them are totally useless. And then we've got Slow Shroom and Gradual Syrup, which, again, are better the harder the run is, generally speaking. Okay, oh my god, he tried to, he really tried to snipe me. Okay, so we're done. After that, we are done with West Side. Let me just really quick show you what it looks like right now. I now have 19, 19, what the hell? Did I miss I a star missing a couple. Did I miss a star piece? Isn't there one on the roof or Wait. in East Side? No, I got the one in front of Dazzle.
paper mode in East? No, that's... There's supposed to be 21. <laughs> Wait, where's the last star piece? <laughs> Was there one in... Behind pipe? Petal Meadows, where you hit the tree. No, I got that one. What the hell? Left side of the screen? Oh, I got that yeah. one! We got that. We got all three in this Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, the bush. That's what That's what I was thinking. Bush of meadows? On the this... east side. Like, past Petalburg. No, I think I got that one. List of... TYD star... Pieces. Well... Hold on. Oh, the only way to that find one. out is to check that one, that every one, that location. One, that one. 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 Oh my god, bro. What the hell? Wait a minute. No, this is... This is messed up. I knew the... Okay. No. Nope. Yeah. Everyone's oh, gonna one, laugh. The one behind the... Everyone's gonna laugh. I went to this, right? I, w I jumped behind there. I was like, oh, it's not there. No, it's there. It's just... I, w I walked past it somehow. Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> God. Jesus. <laughs> okay. 20... 20 star pieces, 5 shine sprites. We're gonna go get the last of those right now. Foolish, indeed. Alright, so we have to go through this. You could have done this earlier, I just decided not to. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're making good time, by the way. About an hour, starting the pit, basically. Okay. Let's go get the last of our stuff. Oh, are we gonna fight Gus? Yes, we are so gonna fight Gus. can start in peril. I yes, yes. Let's so actually what? let's actually level up Coops right yes. now to do that. Because if you yeah. Wait, actually let's remember. let's heal Mario real quick because he's a uh, he's hurting. Yeah. So if you upgrade your partner, they're gonna get fully healed. Yep. Yep. So if you're gonna, um, there's a pretty easy way to start with Coops in Peril using Gus, um, but first let's actually heal. World record pace? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Even with me speeding around, it's still not world record pace, <laughs> probably. Okay. I just wanted to get a quick heal. Let's equip... Oh, you don't. Yeah, let's equip Mega Recipe just so we have it. For now, I'd, I guess I'll equip Power Smash. Oh, if you have all your badges now, we could just start selling some. Let's do that after we get everything else, and we'll uh, like kind of go over how we're gonna prep. I think that's. Oh, whoop! Nope, nope, nope. We gotta level up. We gotta level up Cooper or er, Coops. Okay. Oh my god. So since we're doing both partners, uh... <clears throat> okay. So I just want to talk about this really quick since we're getting there. Um, you don't need to upgrade both partners or get these extra shine sprites or er, star pieces. Um, it's not necessary to beat this run, even if you're a beginner. It's just extra, like we talked about in the beginning, it's just extra, like, a little extra help. Um, if you're going in without upgrading all the partners, I personally recommend upgrading only Goombella and not Koops. Uh, the reasoning is that Bone Tail is way easier with Goombella, and the 90s are way easier with a, an upgraded Goombella than they are with Co an upgraded Koops. Yeah, Koops, um, you only have one less attack unranked, so that's not too bad. Power Shell will still be pretty broken. Um, yeah. you get more HP with Goombella, and her multi-bonk is still pretty strong, even when she's not in peril. Yep. So, 
there's that too. But once she does get into peril, um, like, Hilti Bonk is just broken against Bonetail, so... Facts! Wait. Did I just... Okay, he's not dead. We're just gonna defend. <clears throat> nice! Alright, so basically at this point... Uh... We're just gonna be defending. And... Appealing. We just want Gus to keep attacking Koops. Um, another thing to note is that Shell Shield, while a great defensive option, is like, not... Oh my god. It's not like, amazing for Pre-Hooktail Pit, especially if you're just starting out and have a lot of HP. If you like, build up a lot of HP with Mario, it gets less useful. Um, whereas Goombella can outright take out tons of enemies on her own with multi -bonk. Oh man, Gus is being pretty nice! Oh! <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> yeah, Shell Shield is useful for low HP runs. Yep. So, yep. Um, in that run I'm doing right now, definitely used it. Absolutely, yeah. More times than multi -bonk, so... Yeah, at a 1 HP run, Shell Shield, great. <laughs> Dang! Look at him go! Alright, we are in peril! Oh, look at that damage! Uh, we're gonna power smash. Would it have saved me? Come on, man. <laughs> okay. I'm actually gonna use a honey syrup- the, the honey syrup I have in my inventory. to just put myself back at full. If all goes well, Koops will have 1 HP all the way until floor 89. Yep. So. Alright, that's the last star piece, by the way. Okay, now I'm going to teach you all something else real quick. This is a pretty common trick. I feel like a lot of people um, either know about this or... It's not too difficult. It's called lock jump. Basically, you just like, you hold like, you kind of go over here and you just like hold like up and left. And eventually, if it would, uh, if it would cooperate, <laughs> eventually. Yeah, I usually go from the other side. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, it worked from the right. Either way, um, yeah, so you get on there, you just jump over to here and you can get up here early and you can paper mode through this and get the last shine spray and for some reason even though you're right here when you uh bo jump in the water it sends you all the way over here <laughs> and now oh nope nope now we have great goombella and then we'll get our items get our badges and we're set You know what we should do? Hmm. A tier list for pre to pit badges. Ooh, that'd be fun. We should do that. And I think Fire Drive will be like... Mm. Actually get a proper placement. Tippity top S tier. <laughs> I agree. That'd be fun to do. We should do that. For sure. Okay. <clears throat> so, we now have Super Goombella and Super Coops. We have 21 star pieces, but before we go down and get those badges, we have some things to do. FP, Jane will finally have a GameFAX approved <laughs> rating. Damn, savage. <laughs> okay, so this badge shop actually has quite a few useful badges for you for a pre hooktail pit. Um, like two of them. Fire. Stop it. <laughs> so first, let's sell. What should I, what should I sell? Well, you can definitely sell so, Attack of XR. Yeah, there's a lot of badges you can sell. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are useful, but yep. they just don't have enough use. Um. I think we're going to sell these. You level up a lot? Yeah. 
I'm gonna sell both of these. Alright, we're gonna sell Happy Heart. <laughs> Do not need that. <laughs> we're gonna sell... Hmm. Do you want to keep the luck badges? I would keep them. Okay. Just okay. so you have that option. Should we keep multi-bounce, even though we upgraded coops? Um... Yeah. Oh, you oh, know what? We have to. Good. We have to for the trip dark, triple dark coop patrols. Yeah. Okay, so... By the way, we now have 380 coins. That's a lot of coins, you know? Like, off those few badges we, we just sold. Um, so, I think we should buy Last Stand. You want a second Last Stand P? I mean... I usually get it. Yeah, okay. Not in a speed run, but... Yeah, 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 obviously. Safe. Yep, okay. Yeah, this this tutorial is aimed towards like first time F unsimplifier. You have to stop it. <laughs> I'm not buying unsimplifier. Okay, and then if you want the others, you can either go to two screens to refresh the deals, but we're just gonna look at the others. Um, it's not like they're that expensive. Okay, so the two others I would get are power jump. And Piercing Blow for things like Chain Chomps. Yeah, Piercing Blow is pretty good. Um, you can get Super Appeal. I don't think that's like a bad choice. But personally, um, if you're weak with your stylish moves and you need sometimes you just need to get a burst of star power, then Super Appeal can be okay. Um, like JD Acer just said, if you have way more coins, like if you grind for coins, which we'll go over really quick, I I'll go over it, <laughs> I promise. Um, and you grind coins, you could just buy Happy Flower. Um, that is way too expensive. Yeah, it's so expensive. You have to grind if you want this. Um, yo, what up, Cody? Have I done... A spotlight for Unsimplifier? I have! I have GiveStack. In fact, all of my spotlights are on my YouTube channel. Check it out. My, I think my spotlights are super dope. Some of those strats are, are really cool. Um, so please, please check them out. They're all in a playlist. I agree. They're pretty cool. Like, you don't do enough of them, though. I know. I need to do more. <laughs> I know. I still really like like the Bobbery one. I think is so cool. Okay, so the let's just take a quick look at our badges. Um, so yeah, these are this is kind of what I would suggest you start with. Um, now, if gotta run, promise me your stress is not. I will not JD Aster. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> but we're gonna use it in this run for sure, probably. Um, Most likely. Oh. Yep. Um, see you later, though. Thanks for hanging out. Sounding official? <laughs> I paid you. I did. I paid him in. I paid him in coins. Okay, so let's. Um, hold on. Let me check the prizes. Oh, that's way too many to get it done. Oh, I'm not doing that. Okay. We're gonna do I the. Think it might be worth. <laughs> Buying enough items to get an ice storm. Like personally, I I didn't realize until recently that it could be pretty useful against spiky parabuzzies. Yeah, it's Just actually some damage in. It's it's and really it, it's really good against um, poison puffs too. Like they're really weak to freeze. Too, yeah. yeah. Okay, we could. But it's you don't need it. I think we're gonna do uh, non grindy, but I I will. Sell the grad syrup, <laughs> the slow shroom, and we'll sell the mushrooms. I'm gonna use one of the mushrooms to get my HP back to 10. Okay, Mario. Alrighty.
Okay. So I want to talk. I'm actually... I think this trouble actually exists already. I want to do the trouble, actually, just to talk about it. Should exist. First trouble. Should be... It's like the only one I do these days. No. No, you have to. Oh my god, you have to! Which one did you do? Which one did you say you do, usually? Our first. Price adjustment. Oh, what does that do? Um, you just talk to him. No, I know, but I know, but what does that give you? I can't remember. It gives you coins, right? Oh, does it? Oh my god! No, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do mouse million. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show this. I, I, I think people don't like think about this because like they're just playing through the game normally. But in a pre-hook tail pit, this is uh what he gives you. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna smack him until he remembers. You know what I'm saying? He did it. Okay. You have to buy a sleepy sheep in Rogueport and sell for a two coin profit in Petalburg. Okay. I just want to talk about this for a second. Right now, it is possible. To, right? So, if you pay 80, if you have 80 coins at least, you can buy 10 sleepy sheeps and you get 100 every time you do that. And then you can also grab turtley leaves from Petalburg on your way back and get even more coins on your way back. Um,. What this does is two things. One, you can grind this infinitely for 999 coins, and you can build up points while you're doing this because it's 10. You build up 10 points every time, right? So, like, if we were to do Ice Storm right now, like, if you wanted to do that, it's two trips. That's it. Two trips, and you'd have an Ice Storm, you know? Um,. And it's five trips for Thunder Rage. Now, you make 20 coins every time. So, uh, it takes five trips to get 100 coins, which is a lot. You know, it's it takes a long time. Um, but it's possible. Uh, I think a lot of runners, myself, Coop included, have done this grinding. Um, especially on the harder variants where it's, like, basically necessary. Um, so... But for yeah, it might take a while, but you also get gold bars along the way. Oh, that yeah, yeah, you do. They which sell you can, for a lot. You can sell those, and um, yeah, it's just an easy way to get a lot of coins for a vanilla pre-hook tail pit. I do not think you need to do all that grinding. However, um, vanilla pre-hook tail pit is one of those runs where you can really like up. You can change the difficulty depending on like how much you prepare. So the more you prepare. With grinding and stuff like that, the easier it gets. Um, there's no shame in grinding uh, for coins to get all that extra stuff. Um, you know, pre hooktail pit is a difficult challenge. So um, I'm just telling you that it's possible to do, and you have the ability to do that. And it's a great way to grind shop points as well while getting coins. Um, at the very least, if you don't want to, if you want to like reduce your grinding but still want to get some coins, I would suggest at least getting the Thunder Rage up to the Thunder Rage for the yeah, four spiky Parabuzzy loadout. But you could also get Thunder Rages from Charlieton. So yes. Oh, hold on. We need to get some more. 10, 20, 30, 40. You get four chances to get Thunder Rage. Yeah. But it's not the end of the world if you don't. Are there any are there any other items you think we should get? Maybe a honey syrup. I think one might be okay. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. You just need to leave like a few item slots for a potential. Should we get a fire flower or a fright mask? Maybe a couple fright masks. Yeah, I recommend maybe oh. one fire flower. Okay, let's get one fire flower. And one f another fright mask. So if you're not going, so uh, I just need to talk. We need to talk about this for a second. So spiky parabuzzies. Uh, there's a loadout where you can get four of them. It's one of the stupidest loadouts <laughs> ever conceived. Um, they have five HP, so you can kill them all with one thunder rage. Which is why I, you know, I would say get at least up to a thunder rage. Um, if you don't, if you're not going to do that, 
you can buy a couple fright masks that has the chance to get rid of all of them so we are gonna use we're gonna have a couple fright masks for any nasty loadouts that I don't want to deal with <laughs> they're only 60% weak to fright so yeah it's not a great it's not a great like an amazing alternative but it's something Okay, now dazzle let's do... Time. It's Dazzle time. Okay, we have 21. Alright, so let's take a look. So there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of badges here. Um, all, basically... There's a few key ones. So, um, first off, the one that um, most... I think most people would recommend, Quick Change... Um, because you're using Coops in Peril, in later floors, he can't one KO everything, so you Power Shell, Quick Change out to Goombella to soak up damage, and then Quick Change back, KO everything with Coops on the second turn. It's easy. Yeah, I think it's the most beginner-friendly badge. Yes. Get, but it's um, also preferred by um, veterans, too, so... Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's absolutely essential for speedrunning, but again, this isn't a speedrun one, but just just saying, the the versatility it provides in terms of like being able to swap things out and not have your not have coops die or anything, uh, quick change is very good. Okay. Um, if you are not great at keeping coops out of peril, um, or in peril, I should say, um, or if you don't have quick change, yo, see you, Omi. Thanks for hanging out. Um, Heart Finder is actually a really good option because if a partner, if you don't have any life streams and a partner dies, you can just revive them with one heart from Heart Finder and you're guaranteed one heart with it. Um, so in most cases, if you don't get a quick change, um, like, the, like the badge you will most likely be getting is one of the power pluses. Yep. Um, each one has their merits. I can't, I can't, I guess I couldn't really tell you which I think is better. It depends on the run, I would say. Like, if you're doing a no mega rush P run, probably power plus P. So you could, so Goombala can actually hurt Pongtail <laughs> with their multi bonks. True, um, true. But I think in most cases, power plus is probably preferred. Um, actually, I don't know. They're, well, they're, I mean, bigger, so fi I mean, Fire Drive, you know, starts at 6, which is pretty good. Mario at least has a 2-2 two, two jump, and he starts at 2 with Power Bounce, which isn't huge, but it's something. And um, you, you could know. use this even if you are comfortable, like, keeping Coops in peril. Because there are ways to preserve that peril um, without Quick Change. Yep, exactly, yep. yep. There's ways to do that. Um, and then, so, I would say Flower Saver is not, generally, I would say it's not, like, a super great choice. Um, yeah, it's only because, like, the debate is usually Quick Change versus Power Plus. Yeah. I think that's the reason, um, you don't want Flower Saver. I mean, even then, I just feel like if you're trying to do, like, some kind of FP conservation, I actually think Flower Finder, in this instance, is a better option. Because they're all normal enemies and they all have a chance to drop flowers. Um, you can sometimes KO an enemy with Coops, one power shell, and get all that FP back. Yeah, that's it's a um, popular choice in um, speedrunning. I, I actually, yeah, I use Flower Finder myself. I really like it. Um, Item Hog is a, is a classic. I would say. I'd say it's a pretty classic free hooktail pit badge um basically if an enemy's holding an item or something you have a greater chance of getting it um, yeah, so i think the other debate is like like once you get quick change or power plus or if you get quick change is item hog versus heart finder versus flower finder yep um like <clears throat> me personally i i would probably say item hog is the best because like that's just me um, yeah no i know you could get you could get hearts um like Getting guaranteed hearts from Heart Finder is obviously pretty good, but, but I don't uh, give you drive shrooms. Yep, so. exactly. And you can actually revive a partner out of out of zero HP with a drive shroom, the same as a heart. So 
It's like, Heartfinder is only for getting a partner who's died, by the way, who's died, out of, uh, you know, putting them back into peril. Item Hog gives you more items overall, a chance to get, like, really good items, like Thunder Rages and stuff, even badges, and it also has the chance of giving you Dry Shrooms, which do what Heartfinder does, but it's, like, it's a little more uh, versatile. Uh, it's really preference, though. Um, or whatever, like, star pieces you have left. It does not increase the chance of enemies holding items, I'm pretty yeah, sure. It, it just increases the chances of enemies dropping items. <clears throat> um, so yeah, everything else, the happies, the pretty lucky, uh, and peekaboo, no. You, you do not need any of, the, any of these badges, like, I really don't think you need the extra pretty lucky either, unless you're in a really low level, like, some kind of run where, like, you want to avoid damage more, I guess. It, the good part is, like, it's pretty cheap, so if yeah. you have any star pieces left over, um, yep. that's, that's what you get. <clears throat> this is definitely one of those badges where, like, having the 21 star pieces over the 15, it's like, okay, uh, this is what I can get now, you know? Like, I can afford this. <clears throat> yeah, because if, if you, you only have 15, yeah. it's probably not recommended. So if you only have 15, it's like, do I get Quick Change or Power Plus? Um... <clears throat> Power and plus, quick change, yeah, and, and then the, yeah. those three badges. Yep, if you get quick change, you get one of these. Yep, nail it on the head. Uh, chill out. I actually think is okay. It's more for speed running though. Um, it's like you can just run into an into an enemy instead of having to like do anything weird about it. We're not gonna do that for sure. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna buy quick change because I I want to show off quick change. Um, <clears throat> I think a lot of people get a little intimidated by like preserving coops with quick change and stuff so i, I want to go over that um so we're gonna buy quick change okay so we have 13 left we have quite a bit left actually so uh should we go we can actually get flower finder and item hog we could get item hog and uh, I guess pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Are, are you gonna give yourself peekaboo anyway, just for showcase, or Ooh. are you gonna do it without it? I think I should. I should give myself it, huh? That's a good idea. Yeah, because never like... get peekaboo. Never get peekaboo. But I think for tutorial purposes, I think I might give it to myself for free. To equip yeah, it. it's it's just it's like super important to know enemies HP. That's true. That's true. That's a, that's a great point. Thank you for bringing that up. All right, what do you think? What do you think? Personally, I you already know I'm a flower finder guy. Um, but we could get both and see what we have left. Yeah, why not get both? I don't think I've ever gotten both. So, all right, let's get both. Well, we have two left. We're getting we're getting chill out, I guess. <clears throat> okay, so these are our badges. Now, like we were talking about, there are, there are lots of combos. Um, it really, obviously, some combos are a little better than others, but ultimately, any of the combos that we talked about, like even just getting power plus, is viable. Um, it just all comes down to your playstyle and how you like to play. Um, there's tons of different ways to keep a partner in peril. Um, but we're gonna use, I would say, what Coop and I like the best, which is definitely Quick Change. <clears throat> so, we're gonna start... I'm actually gonna start with Power Jump, Power Smash, and Mega Rush P. Don't think you really need anything else. Um, so there's quite a bit of BP we need so that we can equip most of these things. Yeah, so the early floors of the pit... Um, is obviously really easy, but there is a little bit of a challenge um, because you don't have cook change if you rely on if you like to rely on cook change. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you don't want to level up <clears throat> coop. So, there's always like there's always a point where you want to swap him out before finishing the battle, and that'll take up your turn if you don't have cook change. So, yep. But that's what like that's what like um. Power jump is for, or fire flowers, 
if you have like a lot of enemies. You could just finish them off with that. Yup. Alright, we're going in. Are we ready? <laughs> Are you ready, Coop? So what's the time? What's the time right like what time am I at, at streaming? No, your game time. My game time? Oh, my game time is one thirty eight. Cool. <clears throat> cool. Alright. Let's do it. We're jumping in. So, um, wanna talk so like Koop was saying, the only real challenge for these early floors <clears throat> is uh can you level up without coops? That's it. <clears throat> and always keep an eye on your star points. Like, yep. Oh, we didn't talk about Merly. I never get Merly. Oh god. <laughs> it's, it's just. It's Thank stupid. you. <laughs> don't, don't do Merly. Can you imagine? You kill an enemy and Merly decides to uh. <laughs> Give you star, double star points. Decides to double your star points. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Hold on, hold on. I have to do something really quick. <clears throat> we have to get rid of... Speed up Mario. And... Where's Levitate? Gotta get rid of that. Okay. We're basically vanilla Mario at this point. <clears throat> that was a jump, by the way. Yuck. Oh, HP plus speed. Yeah. He's alive, dude! Uh... Gloombas have... Oh, I need to give myself peekaboo too. Yeah, Gloombas have 12. So we need to... Oh, you don't have enough PP for peekaboo, so... I guess once you level up. Or you could just... True! Yeah. I'm just gonna give myself BP after this, it's all good. I'll just... Once I level up, I'll put on... I'll put it on. No, Archer, no! <laughs> Thank you for bringing up Merly. I feel like that's something I would never even think about. In Prologue Pit, though, it could be useful, potentially. So we're going to level up here. Yes, because I think star points. I think because these guys, though, we're, we're lucky that the second guy has Sleepy Sheep. We can just KO with Coops and swap out. Goombella has a lot of HP at this point. And you can also just guard these guys. They do one damage, so it's like... It's not a big deal. You can put Mario yeah. in front and just guard. Even, um, if they, even if you get put to sleep, you're not gonna... Yeah. Die. But we'll just keep Koops out. <clears throat> Yo, what up, Aaron? All right, <clears throat> so let's do BP. Yeah, so the first couple level ups, I like to lean a bit on BP first. Yep, absolutely. But as the run progresses, um, it's probably unnecessary to go like, I'd say over 24 match points. Yep, yep. Um, we might need a little more just because we're going to have Item Hog and Flower Finder. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I have to, you have to give myself one thing. Listen, this is just for tutorial purposes. So we're giving ourselves peekaboo. So you guys can see the HP. Oh, it's only two. Nice. Okay. Well, for now, I don't think we need anything else, so I'm just going to chill. Yo, what up, Shavist? Where Murley will be op optimal? Never. That's never happening in a million years. <laughs> By the way, I do want to talk about something. Um, you saw me just run into that enemy instead of first striking with Koops. Um, there's a big reason for that. I'm going to show you right now. You'll see me doing that a lot. If you notice, the coins fly away from me. There are moments when you first strike with, with Koops where a heart could fly directly into your path and touch you before you can do anything, thus ruining your peril. It's awful. Yeah. Um, and in a lot of cases, you do want to first strike with Koops. So, yeah. like, when it, when you do that, you want to end the battle with Goombella, just to be safe. Yep. yep. And Quick Change will help you in doing that. 
It will indeed. <laughs> but for now, these enemies, these beginning enemies, you can just kind of just run into them and it's totally fine. No issues, really. Or you can just run up and hammer or something. Right, as long as you're close to them, you will not suffer. <laughs> okay. Anytime you get only like two enemies or something, that's good. It means you don't have to worry about using Power Shell. Nice. Oh, you got two oh, flowers. That's amazing. That's an extra power. That's an extra power shell. <clears throat> so I'm going to be honest, these first floors are pretty tame. There's really nothing to worry about. Um, for any kind of like experienced runner, these floors are like for me, it's basically like a, it's kind of like a snooze fest because it's just like these enemies don't, they're not huge threats. You just have to pay attention. It's so like Koops doesn't level up with you. Um, watch your FP a little. I would say, see right there. Oh man, that's why you stay in the middle. <laughs> So I would say for these, you know, first strike with Mario, see what you can do, try not to use Power Shell if possible, and you should probably be fine. Yeah, all these enemies are also on the ground, so groups can just destroy yep. them. Yep. Like in a speedrun, it's just Power Shell every floor. Yep, power shell, literally. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna risk it. You can you can get on this pipe, but I'm not gonna risk it. Just wait for the heart to leave. That way, there's no chance of accidentally getting coops out of peril. And here's the thing. Uh, oh God. Well, I'm gonna power shell this. Coops and getting coops out of peril here, not bad. It's not terrible. It's really, like, those later floors where, like, you need Koops to deal the damage he's dealing, you know? Uh, that's when you have to you have to be really careful not to uh, get him out, out of peril. At this point, like, I'm trying to keep him in peril just to speed things up. Nice. Yo, damn, what the fuck, Grizz? Hello? <laughs> Alright, so we're already done with the first ten floors. Sleepy Stomp. Uh, this is an excellent badge, especially as you get... Uh, especially as you... Uh, up your difficulty for these runs. Yeah, so uh, Dark dark Lucky 2's Arantula's Poison Buffs. Yep. But then you could also just Power Bounce them if you're, yeah. if you're good uh, at it. Ice Puffs too, by the way. Um, I don't know how that hit. <laughs> Most aerial enemies with zero defense are pretty weak to sleep, so here's that. Um, this yeah, is the tens, a... so, so, so the next set of floors are a little bit more tricky because there are actually enemies in the air. So you'll probably be using Goombella a little more often because Koops can't reach them. But they're still super weak, so it's like, yep. there's no way you can die here. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, especially with, with Sweet Treat, which we haven't even, like, had to use yet, but... Um, Sweet Treat is insane, and, w like, it's almost impossible to die here because of Sweet Treat. By the way, here's something fun, just to talk about another loadout. If you do have Power Plus on right now, you could just Power Jump these guys for an easy kill. Um, right now, I cannot KO them. Without double attacking. <laughs> I got you, Grizz, I got you. So here's uh, a little a little tip for uh, Piters, specifically. They have either a single shot or three shots. If you super guard the first one and he's still shooting, you can just guard the rest because they all do one damage. But if you guard the first one, you'll take a point of damage. Um, it's not like they do enough damage that that really matters, but it's something. Yeah, and Arantulas are a lot... More, a lot different. Their, their multi-shot is like broken. 
Yes. <laughs> that, does, that does four times three, so twelve damage. And then their single shot only does seven damage. So yeah, yeah. You know what up, Amazie? Uh, I have not done a sweet treatless PHP, uh, Kipo. I would have met. Um, oh, here's a neat trick. I think I hit him actually. <laughs> Let's go. I'll show that off <laughs> in a little more detail. I'm not leveling up from. Oh. Okay, we're gonna keep Mario in front, but we're gonna keep Koops up. <clears throat> I have not done Sweet Treatless, um, but maybe one day. So I guess if these enemies were a little tougher, the right move pro is probably Sweet Treat, so you get FP for Power Shell, but... Oh, I guess I, I, guess I could do that. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about it. <laughs> That's okay. We like you don't want to risk accidentally getting a heart for hoops, right? I, I don't know. That's me. What'd you say? You don't want to risk accidentally getting a heart for oh. hoops. Oh, sweet treat. Oh my God, dude! There's a heart right there. Whew, okay. Okay. Oh, that was close. I didn't even see that. I was getting. I was getting a little scared. There. Amazing, I think he's talking about, uh, like, not getting Sweet Treat, but still doing, like, Hooktail stuff. Not, like, Prologue Pit without Sweet Treat. That's insane. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, like, Uber skip before you get Sweet Treat. That way you skip it. Okay, so this one, this particular loadout pretty easy, because Koops can kill Co two of them, and we are about to level up. I would say the worst enemies on this set of floors is Pokey. Um, but in a Pyrocto pit, they're, they're a joke. In yeah. Prologue pit, though, they could be quite a pain. Oh, yeah. Alright, another BP. I think I'm equipping Flower Finder. Yeah? Flower Finder? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I would say item hog is probably uh, until you get the strange sack. Item hog is yeah yeah. Okay. Yeah, so okay, we're gonna put on flower finder because I mean, if you're doing like a really difficult run of Pyrocto pit, you probably start with ten items. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And, and you don't need any items at this oh, point. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, never mind. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> See ya. I don't know why I put. I don't know why I swapped. There's no reason. All right. <clears throat> oh, we got him. No way, bro. Okay, well, I'm not gonna waste an item on this. This attack only does two damage, so. Yeah, you can't hurt um, dark Sorry. boss when they're charged. We got the super guard. <laughs> yes. Yes, Kipo. Getting getting into an encounter close to the wall can be really bad. Look at that. Nice. Was that flower finder? Yeah. <laughs> uh let's let's really quick talk about um coins too. You can I have two thirty right now or something? Um I I think it's okay to collect every coin, but it's not, like, necessary. You definitely want a good amount for when you get the strange sack, though, because then you can start really buying stuff from Charlington if he appears. Yeah, most of the time, you want Thunder Rage. Yep. But even, like, a 30-coin mushroom could come in handy. It can indeed. They get really expensive. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, so did you see the rare dialogue from Charlieton when he? Like, I did. Spend all her coins. It was crazy. I did not know that was a thing. We've been playing this game for so long. You still learn. You still learn new things all the time, man. I was just speeding through it, and then, like, I 
just something caught my eye. Like, dude, that's not right. <laughs> okay. And I just froze. <laughs> Come here, bro. Oh my god, how could you do this to me? Come here! <laughs> Jesus. I have to swap. I know I'm gonna have to use Grimbella. I'm gonna have to swap out. Because I'm so close to the wall. We got him. It's like, he, he talks about... Ah, man, he says something about you being ready to go. Like you're set for the future or something? Yeah. That's, that's crazy. I'd have to, like, go back and pause the video to actually read... <clears throat> there it is, look oh. at that. <laughs> I can grab these because I didn't bell out, but man, like, look at that. Relentless. Okay. 43. We're, we're doing okay. We don't have to worry too much. Oh, so the rare dialogue that we're talking about is when you spend all your coins um, at Charlieton. So, like, you end up with exactly zero coins after you finish buying items from him. He'll say something else. Usually he says, like, he wants you to buy more, and then you, even if you don't have enough coins to buy more, like... It usually ends with him being disappointed. Yep. But when you end up with exactly zero coins, he'll say something different. We're just kind of we're just kind of strolling through these early floors. <clears throat> so that's a cool trick you can do with Coops. You can uh, hit the wall and he'll. No way. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, you can hit the wall with Koops, and he'll actually bounce back behind you. You can hit a lot of enemies with a Koops first strike that way. It's pretty cool. I'm so glad the the puff went down for me. <laughs> what a nice guy. Oh my god! Oh. And we got the life shroom? Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. No item hog even. You want an easy way to get rid of these guys? You're like, oh, I swapped out to Goombella? Nah, just jump on them once. <laughs> that's just a little yes. that's a little optimization. Yeah, so like when it comes to I guess like when it comes to strategy, like really half of it is enemy knowledge. So yep. like that's a big part of coming up with a good strategy. And the so, thing like, is Oh no! You continue. No, continue. Go, go I'll ahead. Say, okay, I was gonna say like the thing. Like, if anyone's seen, oh, we're in the 30s, no 20s. Okay, Fire Drive. Um, I'll talk about Fire Drive in a second. I was gonna say, uh, if anyone's seen me play, you know, I like to like plan ahead my strats. I execute on them. Everything like works out. This is not a run where you can just do that. You, you really, you have to know the enemies, like Coop said, and it's like all about on the fly. Like you have to think about what you're gonna do every battle. You know. Yeah, so it, like, for example, like, even even against really weak enemies, it, it helps to know how much HP they have, right? Mm -hmm. um, when it, when you start facing more difficult enemies, like, you need to know, like, their defense, attack, AI, like, do they only attack front target, for yep. example? That's, that, then you could, like, keep coops in the back, right? Knowing that they can't reach him so um yeah all these little things are important um oh, the other no. half is probably just like actually strategizing and finding the best way to beat them this so. loadout sucks <laughs> i gotta swap out to goom yes gib stack there are there's three different loadouts per floor By the way, the bandits are pretty weak. You can just guard them. Um, I'm just gonna kill these guys with Goom because we're about to level up. Okay, 
we're gonna do you. I'm try and super guard you. Ow. We got him. Nice. Okay. The boo is done this turn. Look at all that experience we're getting. It's insane. Oh, are you gonna talk about fire drive? Or? Oh yes, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> fire drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So fire drive is like in a, a fire drive is an incredible badge for pre hooktail pit. Um, despite it costing five FP, uh, you know it pierces a lot of enemy defense. Um, it's great against uh, dry bones and all ice enemies. Um, it's great against bone tail. I mean, it's just an all around. It's a very solid move. It does five damage to the yeah. first enemy. Yeah, that's it's crazy. It's very good. In fact, I'm probably gonna put that on. Put that on now, and I think we can do quick change next level up. Yeah, the, the, I, I would say for the twenties, it's not like because the enemies are still pretty weak. You, you don't need fire drive, but um, it could have helped in the last battle where you had to bring Goombala out. Yep. Because you don't want to level up the Koops, so... Yep. Koops destroys pretty much every enemy in the 20s, except for Lucky 2s. No, <laughs> Dude! Uh, how am I going to deal with this guy? Just jump on him. Why don't I get... Can I do deal damage? Will I still deal damage? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. I actually did not know that. Well. There are things even I don't know. I think you're getting confused from, um, with the buff charge. Oh, maybe I am. Maybe I am. Because I know you can, you can attack, like, poison puff charge. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that until, like, probably, like, my, I don't know, like, <laughs> ten years in yeah. the game. Yeah. Because I don't think you can hit the icy one either. No, you can't. So inconsistent. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, Fire Drive is very good. You know, it's only 3 BP. Uh, it's definitely something that you will have basically on all the time later on. In the later floors, for sure. Well, we just got 3 FP back, by the way. We just basically got our power shell back. It's amazing. Okay, we got him. Fire Drive or Sweet Treat? That's a good question. I think right now I would actually say Sweet Treat. But that's because, like, if you're good at Sweet Treat, you can, like, almost live forever. Especially if, you, if yeah. you're, like, good with Stylishes and you know how to, like, manip... Not manip, but you know how to, like, preserve star power. Yeah, and as good as Fire Drive is, in a normal Pyrrhical Pit, I would say Mega Rush B is the best, or oh, like, yeah. Koops' Power Shell is the best move. Yeah, absolutely. So, I'm sure you've noticed, but basically, like I said, these early floors, it's just like, you kind of have Power Shell with Koops, and if it looks like he's going to level up, you swap out to Gumbella and just kind of do the fight normally, quote-unquote, like, just slow. Um, otherwise, you just, you know... <clears throat> You hit him with Power Shell. Um, you don't even need to miss the Action Command. I'm only doing it because it's a little faster. Because I know it'll still kill. Ooh. Oops is broken. <laughs> he really is. Like, this, I don't think he gets enough credit. He, like, we Usually we would put him at a distant third from Goomba and Yoshi, but I don't know. He's gotta be up there. No, I think I think he's getting closer to Yoshi now. I won't level up from this. Four? From the bandit? Twelve? There's no way. I think you're good. Yeah. Oh, there's no way, bro. How did I get 30 from that? What did the boos give me? The boos are overleveled. Oh my, okay, well, That's hey, okay. That's okay. we're going to show you how to get Koops back into peril, <laughs> I guess. So the, the first thing I thought of is um the bubombs. Yeah. Their front target attack. 
Yeah, man. And I think we fight them next. No. Nope. Oh my god. Do you? Oh, do you normally get them on this floor? I think you do. I think you do. So, what yeah. is? Oh god. What is um? What's level thirty? Dark Koopas. You get dark Koopas. No, no, no. What? What is the chest reward? It's it... top. Okay, we should get that. So I'm actually. I'm gonna go down two floors. There are so uh, normally I would skip zap tap. I'm not gonna lie, but in a beginner, there really? are some things. Normally, yeah. Well, I because you know oh, for I me, I guess for, you know for me, like I don't care about vampires and stuff. Okay. Yeah. In a in a speed run, I would skip it. But yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh hey, hey, look who's here! I think I burned the super shroom. Yeah. Just. Kumbala needs it. Yeah, she needs it, man. I actually cannot believe that I got 30 from that, though. Like, I was thinking 12 from the three bandits, and then... Alright, so we're gonna get a Thunder Rage. This is actually great. Just Even this, just this one Thunder Rage is enough like, to... Uh, uh, yeah, I would even go as far as burning another item, just for another Thunder Rage. Mm. Um, it's, it's optional, though. If... You know what? I'm gonna burn the honey syrup. Actually, now that we have flower finder, this was really—I should have used that earlier, actually, but I did not. Yeah, and also like, <clears throat> you always have sweet treat, so yeah. There's no concern. Yeah, so I actually I, I want to talk about it now that we actually got a mover. Okay, so um, like you saw there, when when you get a mover, always check your floor because if you skip past the chest reward floor, that's it. Like you're not getting it. So, um, there are yeah, especially, a f especially, um, the chest on 40, you don't want to miss that. <laughs> Isn't that pity flower? Yeah, you do not want to miss that. <laughs> so there are a few, there are only a very few badges that I would suggest skipping if you're doing this for like the first time or if you're a beginner to pre-hotel pit. Otherwise, if you get a mover... If you get a mover and you and two floors down is like the lowest you can get without skipping a chest, take that. If you can't use him and you have to just like hit the block to go down a floor, then just do that too. Like you don't want to skip most of these chests. Especially fire drive and sleep stomp. Like Oh my god, if you skip those. <laughs> like oof. All right, so this is the 30s. Right? We're in the 30s now? Yep. Okay, so 30s. So we start... Uh, this is uh, definitely a set of floors that I feel like... Oh, I should equip multi-bounce after this. Um, but you could get Coops back into peril. Um, I do have to get him back into peril. Yeah, I need to wait for a different loadout, though. It's doable. No, no, it's doable here. I think oh. if, you ground, if you ground to Buzzies... Okay, okay. Then oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just ground the Buzzies. I'll just ground the Buzzies. I was thinking about doing Dark Koopas, but this actually works. <clears throat> we'll just do that. Okay, so this, so I'm gonna talk. I just want to talk about something really quick since we're here. Usually, I feel like when I'm watching people do pre tail pits, when Coops isn't, when when Coops is in peril, they're usually okay. But the second Coops gets out of peril is when things start going south because getting back into peril is very difficult when you don't like when you're not used to it you know like it's diff it's uh it's scary because you don't want to die and use a life shroom uh or you're just like you don't like taking damage like like that's something yeah, that's you, have to, you, you have to start getting comfortable with it knowledge comes into play mm -hmm. um okay so we're gonna put coops in front we're gonna i'm just gonna defend honestly let this guy get back up well these guys are all front target yep. attacks so there's no um, worry about Mario. Dark Koopa does three damage. Yeah, they all do three, right? This is great. Yep, Zach, I don't know what you're talking about. There's no treasure on oh. floor 80. I'll discard once. <laughs> there's no treasure on floor 80. <laughs> that's that's like that's what I don't get. Why there's treasure on every tenth floor except for 80? Uh, this is I don't know. Okay, this is two one one. Okay. It's empty. Listen, you don't even have to guard. No you don't even. You don't even have to guard this. You know what I'm saying? Like, once you see like how much damage you're doing, boom, we're back. We're back in business. <clears throat> I 
So, two things that I, I want to touch on. One, you gotta be comfortable with taking damage. Sometimes people start taking damage and they freak out. You gotta be comfortable with taking damage. Um... And the second thing, like Koopa's saying, like, you just gotta know what enemies can do and, like, how much damage they do. And, oh, I wanna pause for a second. To be honest, um, in that scenario, right, I didn't actually, like, I was like, if you heard me, I was like, Dark, Ko Dark Koopa does three, like, three, right? But he doesn't, he does four. Um, so if you saw, I just, like, I knew that the Buzzies did two from the previous turn. When he attacked and did three, I was like, okay, I'll just guard once to do, so that, the other pair of buzz the first buzzy does one and then the other one does two and i kept getting you know two 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 basically like, i was taking the damage i needed to get right into peril and then you saw at the end i knew that it was three two two so i guarded or i, I defended at five and i knew that it would just be two one one because of the extra defense um that kind of stuff is how that like that knowledge of their attacks and like doing that that quick math on the fly is how you get a partner back into peril quickly um, yeah, and that's how you improvise if you don't know yep. their attack yep. power right off the bat. <clears throat> I have, I have pretty much every enemy's memorized, so yeah, I do not. That department, so. I do not. Sorry, it's just uh, the... no, it's all good. I, it's I remember uh... <laughs> the. It's not that important. And, like you could always look it up, right? Yeah, it's or sure. most of the time it's like you figure out once, then you just like kind of stick with it. Um, so just to let you know, Shady Koopas, if you put them on their back, they will destroy you. So we're gonna power jump to make sure that doesn't happen. Nice. What's our ba Oh, we have badges. Hold on. What am I doing? We have badges. Uh... I, need I said I'd put on multi-bounce. For buzzies and stuff, I think. We're not really getting Lockatoos, so I think at this point, what am I gonna put on? I guess I just put on Power Power Bounce or Item Hog. I think I'm just gonna do Item Hog. Okay. Yeah, Item Hog sound good? <laughs> yep. That is true, Kipo. The one defense really helps. Come here. <laughs> we got him. The hoops destroys most enemies here. Yep. Every enemy is front target except for the pair of buzzies. Yep. Which or you can flower use fuzzies, flower fuzzies as well, but they will only take your FP on a first turn, so um, probably dead by the time they get to attack. Yep. I mean, Coops just one shots them, so yeah. Oh my god, let's go. That's Item Hog coming in. I don't think I need this though. Honestly. Maybe I'll get rid of a Fire Flower. The yeah, the Fire Flower. Yeah, I feel like it. May as well. Come here. Oh my god, I can't believe <laughs> I, went the I flicked the wrong way. <laughs> Jesus. That looked intentional. Dude, and didn't it? Looked kind of slick. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put... Yes, yeah, soften me. Do nothing. So, one thing that's important oh, to know yeah, is, yeah. like, exploitable enemies. So, for example, Dark Koopas. They'll stay down for two turns. So, if you want to heal and... Like, pretty much get a full heal with Sweet Treat. You just knock them down every two turns. I also want to talk about what happened there with items. Um, items are a really important thing. Oh, oh, oh. I tried. Items are very important when it comes to enemies. Because enemies, for the most part, will use their items if possible. Um, so you yep, saw there that... Have a healing item and they if even if they take one damage they will always use it always so you can sometimes manipulate enemies into not attacking and using an item just to give yourself some breathing room Unless we'll see have, like, a stopwatch oh well if they have a stopwatch then uh 
There's a problem. <laughs> but we're going to try to... Uh, we'll see if we get a situation like that, actually. Yeah, sometimes the items are stronger than the enemy. So that's when you want to prioritize the enemy with the item. And vice versa. Yep. Like, sometimes you get... A uh, line of five elite wizards, and one of them has a one of them in the back is a stopwatch, and that's just that's a bad time. So, eighty nine star points. So, you might yep. be leveling up next. I think we're definitely. I think we're definitely leveling. Oh no! I jumped on him. No. Oh, sigh. So here's when uh, where piercing blow can be useful. Yep, too bad I don't have it equipped. Because these guys are immune to fire. You can just super guard them though. You can. This is luckily one of the easier... Oh, I can power smash these guys too. Can... No, How much one damage. They... It'll do one yeah, damage. I think I'm okay with that actually. Actually? Yeah, 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 I'm okay with that. It's fine, it's fine. And these guys are only front target attacks, so if you want, you could put Koops in the back and keep attacking. You can indeed. I'm but actually... Mario could take a lot of damage from these guys. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that just for this guy and to make things go a little faster. And then we'll swap him right back out so we do not level him up again. Yeah. So if you're not comfortable super guarding these guys. Um, run away and equip piercing bill. Yep. Oh my, there's no way, bro. <laughs> the boo is trolling me. He's not trolling, by the way. Getting a boo is usually amazing. I will show, okay. Um, yeah. I, I really want to go over what Coop just said, because it's kind of important. Because, like... You know, I've been playing this game for a long time. People who know me, they know... Uh, I think I'm going to do FP. Yeah? FP, you think? I feel like I'm kind of running low. Yeah, I mean, I would do FP. Yeah. So, I, you know, I've been playing this game a lot. Uh, you know, in the beginning, I feel like when I started playing this game, challenge running, like, super gardening was kind of a focus of mine before I, like, branched out. Um, so, like, you know, a loadout like that for me is nothing. I can just super guard everything without even, like, batting an eye. Um, but like Coop said, like, if you don't have, like, if you're not comfortable super guarding, like, I would sweet treat there and then just put on piercing blow and then that fight will go so much better for you. Like, you can just piercing blow them and it'll be, like, only a few turns. You won't have to worry about it. Um, there's no shame in running away and re-equipping based on a loadout especially if the loadout's really nasty you know yeah and you don't know who the enemies you're gonna face mm -hmm. until you get in battle so yep. running away is like really important yep because there's three there's usually three separate loadouts uh Gibstack mentioned that earlier uh per like floor so it's like you don't know what you're gonna get this is a perfect <laughs> oh you know what i'm actually gonna run because i don't want to yeah, I don't want to waste the FP, actually. You could keep Kumbilla in front. No, 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 no. I'm gonna just kill them all. Dude, there's no way. <laughs> Please! Okay. No, 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 we're actually gonna... I'm gonna show right now. This is just to, this is just to make the turns a little easier. <laughs> like, this to make this a, a tad easier. We're gonna... Multi-balance... And Power Shell. I don't think it's gonna kill them. No, they have four defense. Nope, but... It's because of Brickard. So yeah. they're off on target attack now. <laughs> right, they only do three, so... It's not It's not terrible. It's not terrible if you... You can just guard them. Okay, also... Uh, we should probably talk about this, but I have pretty low HP... I feel like at this point, a lot of people I would see, a lot of beginners, they would have upgraded HP at this point. Um, yeah, so I think I think, I think we're gonna upgrade HP. we're gonna upgrade HP next time. 
HP is more important than FP for sure. Um, yeah. I like to keep them level, but with a little more emphasis on HP. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll upgrade at HP next. I, I know that's a little of my bias coming in, and that's my bad. Uh, so we'll upgrade HP next. Um, keeping your HP so that you can survive. I feel like for me, I feel like a good benchmark is can you survive like the worst loadouts full front attack without guarding? If the answer is no, you should probably upgrade HP. Ow. So in this case, like, I don't know if this is the nastiest loadout, but just like thinking about that, right? If you don't guard any of those, you take 10 damage. So you should probably have 15. Yeah, and if you want to play it safe there, you could just ground the, or just drop the Dark Koopa and heal. Mm -hmm. You'll get all your HP and FP up since you're nowhere near a level up. But we're good. So uh, this badge you can skip, by the way. Dude, I can't believe we got Charlieton again. I wish I could get rid of this Fireflyer, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I think we're good. I'm yeah. What BP value? Go up, MC. Uh I say between twenty one and twenty twenty one or twenty four. Yeah. Okay. This now, these are Goombella floors. <laughs> Welcome to the 40s. Wow, this loadout sucks! This is... Yeah, this is... This is pretty bad, but once you get them all down, it's yeah. easy. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I'm gonna multi-bounce to get them all down. And then I'll get rid of the dizzy guy. I just don't feel like being dizzy. So you got, got a super guard here. I do. <clears throat> so you def now we definitely need to upgrade HP, right? Like four of these guys, unguarded is sixteen damage. Yeah, I think um like Cappy has no problem super guarding them, but the safer play would have been to put Mario on the back. <laughs> um it's sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I play so risky. <laughs> Yeah, you can tell. I have a lot of. This is why Coop is here, cause he like he he gets the he he knows all the super safe plays. I'm like I'm a risk taker. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put Mario in the back, and I'm gonna multi. I am gonna multi bounce though. Okay, now this will down everybody. <clears throat> By the way, useful tidbit. Uh, four Koopas. If you hit them with a jump, they can't get back up. Like, it extends the, the turns that they need to get back up. Yeah, they skip a turn. So, yep. that's when you, if you're low on HP or FP, you could just, you could get a free heal out of this. Which, I think, maybe I will. I mean, you don't, you don't need to, but... Actually... Other players might. Oh, you know what? We're gonna actually. This is a chance I can talk about something. I'm gonna talk about bingos. Also, what's up, Cloud K9 and Triforce? We're doing good. Okay, okay. I have to talk about this. I have to talk about this. All right. So, bingos are not random. Let me let me say that again for the people in the back. Bingos are not random. They are completely timing based. You can be good at getting bingos. You can actually. Never get a poison bingo in your life once you know this fact. I have not gotten a poison bingo. I can't even remember the last time I actually got a poison bingo. But the first, yeah, the first two slots are random, but once you get to this stage, it's completely timing based. Um, so, this is actually the hardest one for me to get. I'm really good at getting mushrooms uh, and flowers, but. Oh, so close. Okay, me so... personally, I'm pretty good at getting poison shrooms. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not good at bingos at all. Like, I used to be good, and then I kind of lost my touch. 
Okay. I know I never bothered relearning it. Yeah, it's mushrooms are the easiest for me. I know when to like mash, so I know the order. So yeah. Depending on what you get, like what you see when it first comes up, mm -hmm. um, you could get it automatically by just mashing it. Yep. Yep. So, for example, if you want three poison mushrooms, <laughs> and you see a you see a flower, <laughs> then you know, and you mash it, you'll get it guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, speaking of being safe, right now my FP is a little low. I want to be able to like spam PowerShell and other stuff a little more, so I'm gonna heal right now with Sweet Treat. <clears throat> so let me give you a couple tips on Sweet Treat. One, you don't need to like mash the button. Oh god, I'm just rusty. Uh, you can just, you can be really specific with your sweet treats. Oh my god, I'm just so bad, <laughs> though. Uh, but you can get really consistent, really good sweet treats by doing that. And the reason I sweet treated this turn is because these two guys, there's only two left, so I can just have Goombella and Mario jump on each one, and they're locked. They'll never be able to attack. I can just sit here and chill, get my star power back up. But I really want to stress the, the sweet treat thing. Um, if you're spamming sweet treat, uh, you'll get some good sweet treats a lot of the time, but sometimes you'll get really screwed over. Um, being more uh, direct with your sweet treat throws means you'll consistently get good sweet treats no matter what. Yeah, you could only throw three stars at once, so mashing won't really help in a lot of cases. Is it possible to get a perfect sweet treat without mashing? Yes. Oh, yeah. I think that's almost, like, that's pretty much the only way you can get it. Yeah, it's the only it'll way. Be, it'll, it'll, it'll be hard to get. Yo, unless, you you... Meant, <laughs> unless you meant Sweet Feast. Oh, yeah, Sweet, yeah, oh, if you mean Sweet there, Feast. <laughs> there's no way you could get a perfect um, mashing no. or not. Yeah. Actually, uh, when, when I was playing... I was doing a sweet feast for my wife when she was doing her first pre-hook tail. Not pre-hook tail, when she was doing her first uh, pit run, and I almost got a perfect sweet feast. Like, I think I only missed one. Or two. Really? Did yeah, it was just... I don't even... I, I can't remember, oh. but it was like... Uh, it was insanely lucky. It was like one of the best sweet feast, like, lines you've ever seen. So they, for sweet feast, they tell you to hold left, yeah. but oh. it's faster if you mash it. Oof. Yo, what up, perp? Okay. We got our first Parabuzzy. I'm going to show you guys a trick. A little trick. Okay, I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay. So, a lot of the times, you have to super guard these guys to beat them. They're, unless you have an item like a Thunderbolt or Thunder Rage or a Fright Mask works on them, right? I'm going to give you guys the, the deluxe tip to knowing who they're going to attack. <laughs> I'm gonna, <sh> <laughs> I'm gonna show you right now, um, and I'll also show you. I'll also talk, maybe show a non-super guard way to beat these guys. So it only works with Goombella. With Coops, it's not even worth it. The way it works is, if Goombella is in front and Mario is in back, they actually have a different line. It's all, it's pretty distinguishable once you like kind of see it. They have a different line when they go down for Goombella compared to Mario. It is significantly lower when they go to Goombella in the front compared to her in the back. Like, do you see how high that was? Like, it almost went over Goombella. Oh, are, you hey. are you serious? I was going <laughs> to say, I was going to say, use the life shroom. Oh my god. I, it was too fast. It was too fast. That's such a lucky thing. Okay, so let's let's try it again. Let's try it again, okay? That's Goombella. You see how low he went? Did you see how low they went for that? Like... <clears throat> I can have to react a little, but... Oof. Like, it's a... Uh, it's a pretty... Dece way... To know who they're who they're gonna attack, and it only works with Goombella in front and Mario in back. Yeah, and a safe play here is just to equip Zap Tap. 
Yeah, yeah. So, um, the non... Yep. I just didn't have it equipped. I didn't... Oh, one frame early. I didn't want to uh, run away from this battle, because it's just one of them. Uh, but... You can just use a uh, zap tap and you can guard, um, or just take the damage. Either way, they're gonna t they're gonna get hit. There you go. Did, did we see another one? Um, like with just a single air buzzy? Yeah. By using a fight mask, because we have a couple. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's only sixty percent, but. Okay, HP. Oh, that's a fair bit of coins. That's not bad. So there's no spiky parabuzzies on this floor, which is amazing. Yep. 43 and 48. You won't see any of them here. Oh, perfect loadout. This is perfect. These guys, uh, Coops just laughs at. <laughs> Embers and Phantom Embers are much harder without the Mega Rush P, for sure. Especially because they resist Fire Drive. Like, you actively heal them with Fire Drive. And in Prologue Pit, you need Thunder Ages. Oh, if yeah. You, if you get five Phantom Embers... <laughs> you have to be you have to be really good at Super Carding uh, if you're not going to use uh, Thunder Ages. Or Sweet Treat, or both. So poison pokies have exactly 8 HP, so if you're going in with coops not upgraded, the play would probably be oh. you got hurt. Oh. Oh. The play would probably be like just a power shot on fire drive. Yep. Um, I it'll do cost not more FP, but need this, do I? Not that's really. the safest play. Should I keep this? I feel like I don't need it. I already have two. Do I need to do I need to get rid of this fire flower? I feel like the fire flower might be okay. For what? The Fire Flower? If I don't get if I don't get Charlieton, doing the double Thunder Rage and Fire Flower would be good. Okay. So get rid of the fight mask. Yeah. I think for tutorial purposes, fight masks aren't really good because you're just relying on RNG. That's true. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have first strike that this this floor, but this is floor 45, by the way. Um, you can tell what floor you're on based on the overworld enemy. Um, floor 45 is the only one where Spiky Parabuzzy is the overworld enemy, and it's the only floor where you can get the dreaded four Spiky Parabuzzy loadout. Let's see what we get, dude. Dude. Oh my God! How did that work? Oh, this is great. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, you know what? We're going to show off... I know you said to use a Fright Mask, but I think I'm going to show off the Zap Tap method. So you don't need either... And you don't need any of these. Uh, you don't need Fire Drive. Zap Tap. We're going to put in Goombella. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to put in Coops because he gets rid of the HP. Dude, there's no way. I just got trolled like that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna do that for the four damage. We're gonna swap Goom in, and we're gonna defend. I'm sorry, it was habit. It was habit. <laughs> it was habit. Yeah. Okay. So if you have a hard time like distinguishing that, you just want to get the super guard timing down for Goombella, because it'll always take yep. damage from if it hits Mario. Yep. Bro, that was... <laughs> Stop attacking Goombella, please! There we so go. About D9, we went with Quick Change, Flower Finder, and Item Hog. And we got Chill Out as filler. Chill Out. Dude, it's just... It's just have it, man! So as you can see, you can you only take one damage if you defend and guard. So it's not like super bad. You know what I'm saying? And even if you take damage, it's only two. You can yeah. just heal. You can heal with sweet treat if you get a little low. 
Yeah, unless there are four of them and you don't have Thunder Rage, um, these guys are pretty easy. Yeah. So the Thunder Rage is really good for just, for like four of these guys, you just, even if you only have two, like, just use one Thunder Rage. Wow. I'm not taking this, but wow. I <laughs> got a lot of power blocks. Yeah, I want to see a fight where you actually um, fight Dark Capuchos without using a power block. So. Ow! Oh, oh I, I always get first struck by these guys. I hate them. Okay. Um. I think I'm going to get a lot of experience from these guys. You know what? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You have to see how much one of them gives you first. <gasps> okay, we gotta run. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta run, man. Okay, scared of Zapper. Phone Fire Drive. Uh, I think I put up power bounds too. Oh, oh my god. Alright, come here, come here. Come on. We got him. Alrighty, now we can actually do it, too. So now with Goombella, we... <clears throat> multi bonk or head bonk and we fire drive. Our first fire drive of the run! Look at that. No, you're not gonna level up. Nope, you're it's probably gonna, gonna be... do BP next, right? So we have enough for a yep. change. Yep, yep. I mean, we already have enough, but. We do, yeah, but I wanna be able to have a little more flexibility. Yeah, yeah. And to show it without it as well. Okay, so we're leveling up no matter what, so we're just gonna. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, so with Cooper, uh, Cooper, with Coops, we're going to swap out, we're literally just going to fire drive this. They only deal two damage with their explosion, so we will not die, guaranteed. And the fight's over. These guys are a joke. Yep. It's like, <laughs> bomb hooks too, or even a bigger joke. Yep. I feel like they're, they're not in the right set of floors. Okay. <clears throat> We're probably good on BP for a while. Can I reduce yep. it with defense? Yes. yes you can. Oh, uh, what am I gonna take off? I guess I'll just take off. Well, kind of want to keep power drum on actually. What am I taking off? Item hog. Yeah, I think for now, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm just getting power blocks and stuff. I feel like. Oh, perfect. Well, I guess it doesn't really. I can just hit this guy. Don't worry, I'll show off quick change. I promise. Absolutely, Triforce. And you can use this video as a reference. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, make it all. Because it's the perfect challenge. I do. Any challenge runner. Yeah. Because it tests everything. Yep, it tests everything. I think my second favorite challenge after this is even turn. Interesting. Okay, this this is a perfect Thunder Rage loadout. But I'm think I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try to use a fright mask. Am I? Yeah, I am. Okay, so because of that, I'm actually going to swap out to Goombella, because we have quick change, um, and I get an extra turn, I'm just going to try to use it, and if that doesn't work, we're going to go with something else. And that way, Koops is not in danger, and I don't have to worry about him. Oh, let's go! Holy! Okay, I'm actually just going to chill, because it doesn't matter what he does. Ow. Ow. Okay, and then... Well, like, Poison Pokies are 
the weaker you fight, so that was... <laughs> that was crazy. Like, hey, they're 80%. Sometimes we, uh, we get a little lucky. <laughs> oh. And one thing to note is using fight masks to defeat enemies won't give you star points. Yep. But I don't think it's a big deal. No. It's more important to, like... There's no way. ...win the battle. There's just no way, dude. <laughs> I'm getting very lucky. Charlie on floor 50 is is amazing. Yeah, you can I only can, get one. I can only buy one, but but like but like so imagine yeah, imagine if this was a harder variant of Pirito Pit and you had way more coins. Yeah, like if you Charlie 10 on floor 50. I mean, that's you just insane. Yeah, that's like basically 10 thunder rages. Like it's insane. So, I mean, again, we're not doing, we didn't do big grinding, so I can only buy one, but like, I still have three Thunder Rages, and we're going into the uh, 50s now. Okay, so, you saw it kind of ramped up a little in the 30s and 40s, the 50, uh, f now onwards, uh, it's gonna get, it starts to ramp up pretty quick, even for a vanilla pre hook tail pit, because <clears throat> now we have enemies who can't be one at KO'd by Coops. This is where quick change really comes in. So, yeah, dark, dark, um, no, badge bandits have a lot of HP. <clears throat> now I have power jump, so yeah. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use it. But like, if I didn't have power jump, like, this puts Coops not in danger. <laughs> Yeah, the worst it's... enemies in the 50s are probably the ice buffs, though. Oh, yeah. Just because they can freeze you, <clears throat> and they're airborne as well. You know, Kipo, I don't know about the Poison Pokey segment. Oh, my God. It's hard okay. to tell. I, I think I think there there is a way, but um, <sighs> most, most of the time I just guess. So here we literally cannot kill one of the enemies, right? Like I can't just end the turn, so I have to swap out so that Coops doesn't die. <clears throat> uh, ice puffs are really probably some of the most dangerous. I, if you're looking at enemies in the 50s, that could just end your Jesus, dude. I'll take whatever. Give it to me. Uh, if you're th talking about enemies that could just end your run pretty quick, Ice Puffs are definitely high up on that list. Because if they freeze you, they can mess you up. Yeah, if they charged just now, you wouldn't even be able to damage them. So, you're going to have to take the hit. And if you don't guard their Icy Breath, then you're screwed. Yep. Uh, they're not, they don't do a lot of damage, but... Um, okay. At this point, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna level up HP actually. For the the HP thing, I'm gonna level it up because uh, everyone, everything's starting to do a lot of damage now. Um, so. Not because you lack confidence. No, no. Just for sure. Just to be. <laughs> I'll be honest right now. Like if if I were doing a pre tail pit no normally, I upgrade HP like once. Um, it sounds weird to say, but like when I, you have Mega Rush P, like it's just so much. It's so much easier um, for me. But as a beginner, you should not be doing that. You should be level like you should have more HP than this. Honestly, like honestly, should probably have like twenty five at this point. I would say twenty five or thirty even. Like you want to be you want to be able to like take some hits and recover. Yeah, the the rule that I kind of go by is. To have enough HP to survive in Amazing Easy, so 25. That's a good. That's that's good. Uh, piercing blow would be good here, but I do not have it. So, fortunately, chomps are kind of easy to super guard once you like know. They only attack the front. Yeah, and piercing blow works really good against them too. So actually, we're gonna equip piercing blow. Yeah, we're gonna equip piercing blow. <laughs> <laughs> Any notable badge drops to work into builds? That's a good question. Man, what am I doing? I just ran into him! What am I doing? <laughs> it's fine. 
so you can see how versatile uh, quick change is. Like, being able to just, like, swap in, swap out, kill an enemy. And you also don't have to worry about the hearts um, landing on you after battle. Yep, I like, it's crazy. Um, Triforce, to answer your question, it's tough to say because, like, you don't know what bad drops you're going to get. If you got, like... I would say any good badge is worth working into your build. Like, if you got a power plus P or, like, a rush badge or some or something crazy like that, like, I would say go for it. Um, but otherwise, I would stick to the plan. Okay. Bro, I'm so bad. I'm so bad, dude. I'm being so greedy. Yeah, I'm being so greedy. <laughs> oh, this guy got an earthquake. Okay. You know what, I should have ran, but it's fine. You know what, I'll try to run right now. No, I already used Power Shell. It's, you know what, it's fine. it's fine. I'll defend. So one thing I want to note is that uh, enemies don't like to use attacking items very often. Like earthquakes, or shooting stars, or they, they don't use those as often. Status and healing, they're wild about though. Yeah, I wonder what the chances are, like the exact percentage. I don't know. I don't know. Because if it's a healing item, it's like 100%. <sighs> wow, no item hog earthquake. That's actually really good. Earthquake not nearly as good as Thunder Rage, but uh, we make do with what we have. Oh man. Okay. We're lucky. I have power jump equipped. This is very good. So I can do this with coops. Otherwise, I would say you got a power bounce or multi bonk that guy in the back. Uh, even though you can wake up from sleep, it's still really dangerous at this stage because enemies are doing five plus damage. Like, you really don't want to take your chances. Yeah, you could also fire drive, but that's a waste of energy. I could, yes. Yeah, if I knew I was leveling up, I would fire drive. But I am not. So, this is actually okay, because he's on the ground, I can just hammer him. He wasn't, though, then you'd have to guard it. And I would. always safer to guard in that. Yeah, always. Street. Always. Like, even though I'm pretty good at super guarding the Ice Puff Breath, I, I would just guard. There are some attacks you just don't want to mess with. Like, uh, even if you're... Even if you go into pre-hooktail pit and you're like, yeah, I'm pretty good at super guarding, you know, like if you have that mindset, I would say any move that has a chance of inflicting status, you should probably guard for the most part. Because on the off chance that you miss that one super guard and you get inflicted with that status, like that could be the end of the run. Like and you, I, I would be so mad. What's the ice puff breath guard timing when the, uh, a little before the snowflake that comes out of his mouth hits you. <laughs> I actually have a video on it on my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, we're stopping the coops. Oh I just God. kind of guess. Wait like a second. There's a video. There's a video. Oh, this one. I, I, don't, I don't rely on like... Um... <laughs> video clues. <laughs> this loadout is trash. Yeah. You know what? Let's let's do something. Let's talk about the goo. <clears throat> let's try to get a better one. So puffs, puffs uh, are a little unique. Um, there's a difference between puffs and and piters. Piters always have a set place they're going to be at the beginning. Puffs are all random. As you can see. I think that's better. Yeah, this is okay. You can't you don't want to get too greedy. No. I just no, hope no. all of them goes down. Yeah, You'll be there yeah. forever. Yep. But you can sometimes run like once or twice to try and get a better loadout. Oh no. I don't have multi bounce. I think I'm using my fire I'm using the fire flyer. Oh. I'm doing idea. it. I'm doing it. This is the one time. It does one extra damage too. 
Lucky! Lucky! He didn't charge! Yep. That's how you turn! <laughs> that loadout's really bad, by the way. <laughs> like, if you can't kill... <laughs> if two of those puffs charge, whoo! You could be in for a really bad time. Alright. I think I'm gonna... What am I doing? HP? HP? Right? Is that what I was... That's what I said? HP? I can't remember. I, I, can't, I can't remember. I, I would personally do FP, but it's it's optional. You could be flexible. Yeah. With your yeah. I think. Actually, I'm gonna do FP. I'm gonna do FP. <clears throat> One thing I do want to say is, you don't want to go super hard on HP, like early on either. Like one because Coops really can is all the damage you need, but also because like. If you have a lot of HP, but not a lot of FP, you can find yourself not dealing enough damage and not having the resources to, like, really stop a loadout from doing what it can do to you, like, quickly, you know? Um, if you don't have those resources, you can get screwed really quickly, even if you have a lot of HP. <clears throat> like, the HP is not going to matter if every enemy gets to attack you completely. Oh, this is a nice loadout. And you have a life room, so it's like it's okay if you die. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Have a life room. As long as you take that one life room with you. Yeah, it's. Yo, what up, Akame? Thank you for the bits. Uh, does Simplifier make it easier to run away? Yes. It does. It does. A little trick about this guy: you could just wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another nice loadout. <clears throat> yeah, these guys actually don't have much defense. Only three defense. Yep. <clears throat> Yo, what up, Flip Thunder? Thank you for hopping in. Found me through Fat Guy? Nice. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Yo, what up, Warrior for Life? Damn, it's been a while since I've seen you here. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Alright, double dip. This will be... Hey, this badge is like kind of whatever... What now, but it'll be much better as we... Traverse further downward. <clears throat> here we go, Dark Lucky Twos. Ah, uh, here we go. They're the worst enemies of the 60s, by oh, far. Oh, yeah. Oh. Dude, there's no oh. way. There's no way this guy has a life show. <laughs> oh my god, this loadout sucks. Wait a minute. Right mask? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking. They're eighty percent, so yeah. Like that's what I would do in a yeah. I think I'm gonna speed run. in a speed run. I'll definitely use my mask. But I think this is also. Oh my! Actually, wait a minute. Actually, actually, that's that's not terrible. I'm just gonna. I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> thank you, yo, Warrior for Life. Thank you for the tier one subscription. Welcome to the country. We need to we need to talk about something really quick. Uh, as you saw, that Dark Crow had a life shroom, but he used it. Why? Because it heals. Yo, what up, Edwin? Um, so you can even make enemies get rid of life shrooms with this one simple trick. <clears throat> Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try to attack this dark craw. Nice. Okay, we do not have anything besides items to stop the spi the uh, pipe on the dark Lockatoo's head, so we can't do anything about it. So I'm just gonna try to ha I'm just gonna try to hammer this guy. <clears throat> no, stop it. Well, you're level ten now. Yeah, I am. That's why yep. the fog appears. Yep. So fog is terrible. Everybody hates fog. 
Um, Dark Lucky 2s can just do that every turn, too. Oh, yeah. They're, they're big trolls. So, with that spike on their head, it's... They're basically spiky parabuzzies, but worse. <laughs> yeah. Worse. Yeah. Yo! And now, whoever... Yo! Anonymous, thank you for the... How many gifters did you just do? Ten gifters? Thank you. Damn. Welcome to the country, everybody. Alright, we're gonna fire drive this turn for sure. This will take care of the... Yep. Oh, it's gonna be... Oh, I forgot to get charge. Yeah. Dude, did he just... Did he just charge with the guy on his head and then take out another one? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, well we can literally do nothing about this, so... Bro, this guy has gotta stop. Oh my god, dude. This guy is insane. Oh, I really kind of wanted that bingo. But, I mean, I'm going to level up anyway. Dude. Oh, he's going to do it again. Oh my god, he didn't. No. Okay. You have Sleepy Stomp? Uh, no, but I have Multibunk. <laughs> I agree, Gift Stack. Dark Lucky 2 should do that. Let's go! <clears throat> I think it'll be worth the challenge. Should toss a charge? Oh my god. A charge Sky Blue Spiny? I mean, the moment it gets released, it still, like, it still has the charge colors. So. That's true. <laughs> Okay, so Sky Blue Spinies also have this dumb thing where they just do nothing, and it's very annoying. And I can't use Koops anymore because it'll just kill him, and then he'll level up. And I cannot get rid of Peril Koops. Oh, I can't even hit this guy. What am I doing? Why did I hammer? Uh, at this point, you got a Super Guard, by the way. Or sweet oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm gonna sweet treat. Okay, this is the perfect time. To show off something cool. Yeah, lucky dudes are pretty easy to super guard, but I think the problem <laughs> I have with them for the most part is that they just they just drag the battle on forever. The more attacks they get, spinies. Yeah, the more attacks they get, the more chances you have to fail a super guard. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, no, there's three of them. And you, like you're doing a run like Prolog Pit, it could take like 15 minutes. Yeah, it's for battle. it's draining. Like your endurance through the pit is important too. Like it's not like if you don't have like good endurance, you can like start failing like things that you normally would hit later on, and like you get nervous, and it's like it's not good, <laughs> you know. Okay, so I'm gonna guy I'm gonna show you guys a really cool trick with Sweet Treat, a, a unique thing, not unique to Sweet Treat, but unique to some special moves, is that even if you use the move, you'll continue to get star power after using it. It, like, it's weird. You'll see what I mean. So I'm going to appeal. You, what you do is you put Mario on special so that when it's his turn, you just mash A, and you appeal with Goombella or Tattle, either one. And... Look! I have SP! Instead of it going, like, instead of me getting the SP... Oh my god, that was so bad. Yeah, so you get some back. So, after this Sweet Treat's done, you'll see a little bit of SPs already recovered. Works for all special moves except Art Attack and Supernova. Yep. And then, just for good measure, I'm going to appeal with Goombella, because she can't do anything. Just to get a little back, and we're going to fire drive. Er, piercing blow. What am I thinking? <laughs> nice. Socks. Alright. We should do, like, a tier list for audience members. <laughs> Dude, we honestly, should! We honestly, should! Honestly, x not would be, like, S tier. He oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. X-Nauts, 
Hammer Bros. Hammer Bros. <laughs> and Toads, just because they give a lot Toads. of Toads. I would say Boos, too, because of their ability to make you and Viz and Boos sheet. Oh, yeah. Guy guys, probably like F, just because they're so random. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do HP again. This is like more like the beginner level up. Dragons are the worst, though. Damn? Oh my god. Dude, this is with no item hog, by the way. I don't have it equipped. That's like three life streams now. Oh! Yeah, I'm like, at this point, at this point, like, if you've got this many life streams, it's like, for me, this is like, I'm just chilling. Okay, so. Uh, besides Dark Lakitu's, I like to call the this set of floors Fire Drive's Playground. Um, and that's because Frost Piranhas and Dry Bones are all weak to yeah. Fire Drive. <laughs> so Frost Piranhas take one extra damage, while Dry Bones, um, they can't revive themselves if you burn them to death. Yep. So... Oh, look at all that FP I just got back. But Koops also gets the job done pretty nicely. He does. He does indeed. I only call it Fire Drive's Playground because of like harder variants like Prologue oh, Pit. Dark, dark Wizards too. Like you, yeah. could, you could just... um, Like if there's only one left and they have burn status, they could just clone themselves every turn. Yep. <laughs> And conveniently, holy crap, that's a lot of experience. Conveniently, you can KO with this. <laughs> so yeah, Fire Drive's Playground. It's more it's more true in Prologue Pit. Yeah, Fire Drive is like the best move by far in Prologue Pit. Oh yeah. Best offensive move. I think I'm okay right now. Oh, oh my God. ew! Wait, no, we're running. That's the worst enemy loadout you can get. Oh, we're running. Yeah. We're we're running for sure. We're putting on. Any battle uh, with dark lucky dudes are just. Oh. <laughs> like if I was if I was speed running this, I would be raging. Because <laughs> it's like a one in third chance of getting them in on this floor. So, in this floor, this floor specifically, it's so bad. Um, like, I just need to get rid of... I need to try to incapacitate one of them with Sleep Stomp. No! <laughs> Ow. Come on, guy. Oh, here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this... Thunder Age one. Oh, no. I... You don't have to. I don't think I need to. We do have Power Bounce, but um, it's not equipped. Yeah. So the other way to defeat them instead of Sleepy Stomp is to Power Bounce them, but you'll need like... Like if they have full health, you'll need like five frame perfect jump, which is probably not feasible, even for Cappy. What? Oh yeah, it's it's a lot. Well I did beat one of them with Goombella. I multi bonked an entire one off with Goombella. Let's just let's just try to make this guy go to sleep. Okay, we're good. He's out of commission for a while. Five turns of sleep, it's really you can't oversell how good that is. Yeah, I think they're eighty percent weak to sleep. So it's oh pretty reliable. Alright, we're gonna... What am I gonna do here? I think I'm gonna try to sleep stop? Yeah. Oh, that's so good! That's so good! <laughs> oh, they're okay. only 60%, but it's still, it's still not bad. Okay, I'm actually gonna 
Sweet treat. I need FP. I'm gonna multi bonk him. Oh, where was my throw? Hello? Man, I'm so rusty on sweet treats. Is the stream going until we beat the pit or die? Yes, but I don't think I'm gonna die. Okay, that's one down. Do not need this. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna appeal with... Actually, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna power jump and multi bonk. Level up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Yeah, the stalling part is what I hate about them. I'm easy. Uh, I think we're going into BP, just so I have a little more flexibility. At this point, 21 will be good. I can change around yeah. badges as needed. Now it's just going to be focusing on HP and FP. I, I definitely think um, in Pirito Pit, for like in any um, pit runs, they give you more than enough level ups to keep going. Yep. Yep. Ooh! 65! Okay, guess we're taking 5, right? Yeah. Why not? Well, we've shown every enemy here. Yeah. Hey, I don't- Hey, if you can skip Dark uh, Lockatoos, like... Get him out of here! Okay, Double Dip P. Also good to have. Uh, um, good to have the option for both to, do, to use Double Dip. Alright, the 7- Okay. So we, I think, I feel like we talk about this a lot, but this, I think the 70s and 80s are probably the hardest cluster of floors in this run. Yeah, I agree. Like, they are ridiculous. Like, honestly, 90s enemies are, like, a lot of them are pretty exploitable. Elite Wizards and Bubbles. Swamp yeah. Fires. With Zap Tap. Oh god. Listen, Holy, that is, <laughs> I could never. Listen, hey, 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 do you want to learn how to be dope like me in Super Guard Wizard Lightning? Check out my YouTube channel where I have a whole video on Super Guarding Wizard Lightning. That's right, you can go to my YouTube right now and search Tricky Super Guards and you will find a video on it. Go be, go become an amazing Super Guarder. <laughs> I had to get my, had to get my uh, plug in. And subscribe. And subscribe. Uh, do not need this. Okay. I'm feeling okay. Pretty sure I'm not. Uh, do I fire drive here? I feel like I don't. I think He's I'm. Gonna power shell. Is he gonna power shell? You know what? It's fine. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yay! He didn't power shell. By the way, dark Koopa trolls when they're charged up, they do 10 damage. It is insane. Just tap the B button? Absolutely. Now remember, if we get the triple Dark Koopa Patrol loadout, we're prepared. We have POW blocks. And this could be it! Here it is. <clears throat> Where I lost my first life room. In that run <laughs> I'm currently doing. Oh, this is still a pretty bad loadout, honestly. Yeah. I'm actually going to use a POW. Any, anytime you see wizards, um... Still pretty bad. Yeah, I'm gonna use a pow. And power shell. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. Well, what am I doing? I'm gonna power shell and pow. Let's get Coops out of there. Nice. 
nice. <clears throat> okay. So, at this point... For another turn. Yeah, so at this point... Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of damage to them. And then we're gonna take out... The wizard next turn. And now we have nothing to worry about. This guy can't get back up because we keep jumping on him. Happy always clears his throat. Happy do I re do I really? <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry. I have a. I know, I know. I feel like you just do it hmm. randomly. Damn, that's crazy. You never notice. You don't do it a lot, by the way. <laughs> I know what it sounds like. I do clear my throat a lot because I have, uh, I have like an acid reflux thing. Okay, this floor kind of sucks. Let me see how much I'm gonna get. Okay, we're leveling up for sure. Yep, Phantom members give a lot of star points. Uh, I think I'm powing. Am I powing? No, I don't know what I should do. So in oh, wait, 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 wait. Run, I have, I have, have normal hammer. Negro HP. Phantom members become like 10 times harder. Yep, yep. <clears throat> Much harder. Ow. That's some like damage. In, in Polo Pit. <laughs> You have to use like. These guys have. Just... Can't remember if wizard. Do wizards have two defense? Two def? Withers three. Th Jesus. Okay. Then I'm just gonna wait. Kill this guy and just. One oh. frame. That's okay. <laughs> uh, we'll just fire. Actually, let's be safe about it, huh? Let's let's uh, sweet treat. Yeah. Can we fire drive? I could, but I'm just gonna play oh. it safe. I'm gonna play it safe to you know show what playing it safe is like, and not be, just be me and sit there and go in with le a little like less FP. Sounds like you're scared of dark patrols. <laughs> that's I got, better. Yeah, that's really good. I I'm not good at sweet treat at all. Ow. Alright. We're gonna Oh I'm gonna peel before this guy explodes, and then I'm gonna hit him with the fire drive. Wait, I don't even know why I need to do a peel, I'm leveling up. What am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? I'm leveling up. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. That's, that's what I was thinking. Like, <laughs> I thought you were doing it in case you don't level up. But, but then I real I, I I was like I didn't even look. I was like I totally forgot I was gonna level up. Okay, let's do FP. Yeah, yeah. I need fire drive a little more at this point, so I feel like. By the way, um, I, I want to say something really quick. You don't need a super guard to beat a vanilla pre hooktail pit. If you just guard, you're probably okay. You just need to level up HP a little more, you know? Yep, with the right strategies and setup, you don't need a super guard at all. Yeah. Not required. Oh my god, this level of this loadout sucks too. Do I want to pow this? I mean, I would, but... Yeah, I'm thinking... Alright, man. I'm gonna pow, and I'm just gonna swap to Goom. If I was playing, I would run away and equip Zap Zap. Even though... Yeah. Aren't, aren't pretty, or they're pretty harmless, for the most part. But... I'm only not going to, because I'm just gonna multi-bonk with Goom. Yeah. I, I don't know, because... 
for, if it was vampires, then for sure. <laughs> for sure. Alright, the thing is, like, we can just... So this is going to take a while, but you can just sit here again, once you have two of them down. With Mario and Goombella, you can just sit here and jump on both of them, and they cannot get up. So it takes a little bit, but it's super safe. You're guaranteed yeah. to win. Do you want to speed up the process if you get maybe one power shell under? Oh, I can. Because they'll stay I down for indeed. two turns. Yeah, let's speed it up a little. Oh, you could put them to sleep, too. I could put them to sleep. <laughs> So something I've always wondered is, oh, he got how, would, um, how would Pyrocto Pit runs be different if you got Quake Hammer instead of Fire Drive? Oh my god. It'd be so weird. Yeah. I think it'd be harder though, in the long run. Yeah, I agree. Because you, you can't even hit Elite Wizards with, with Quake Hammer. Yeah, but at the same time, so many enemies become, I don't know, like Clefts and Koopa Drills and Crystals. Spiny Six frames early. <laughs> Alright. But even though we got back up, we have piercing blow, so. Are they still weak to sleep? Yeah. I don't know if they're like weak. I don't know if they're like super weak to sleep, but they're definitely not. It's not definitely not bad. Alrighty. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Now would be a good time to start putting on... That would be a good time. I don't need sleepy sleep anymore. Now would be a good time to put on... Item hog. Dude. That was close. Oh, no Lord. way! Oh, I'm getting screwed on the Dark Koopa Patrol loadouts. Okay, we can do this, though. I got a lot of HP, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, you got enough HP that you could just spam Power Shell and Fire Drive every turn, and then they'll go down in two turns. So. Yep. <clears throat> a lot of FP, though. Yep. Ooh, but a bingo's coming up. Hold on. The Ouija better pull through? Dude, I never trust the Ouija. We got it. Nice. Huge. Just more, it's just a little more convenient now. <laughs> yep, get good. Oh, one frame? God damn it. Alright, well, we'll finish off with Fire Drive. Getting close. I think I'm leveling up next fight, depending. Nice. Oh, dry tree. Nice. So this is... If I didn't have three life shrooms, this item would be great right now. For in case Koops died. But, uh... I have three life shrooms still, so we're... Kinda chillin'? As far as, like... Uh, as far as, like... Game oh, over. You just... You could item a hug. I or know, I know... Oh. He's gonna use it too, but that's okay. Making it easy for you. Unless you wanna pow. No, I'm not gonna pow. Not yeah. this. Not this. I mean. Nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna sweet treat this turn. Please, Bushied him. Come on, man. Not yourself! <laughs> oh my god! He knew, dude! Okay. Oh, I should have appealed, but it's fine. Nice. 
I only missed one. Or two, maybe. Oh. Okay. You wow. You started it? I did. I, I was... I, my, my thumb was just over the A button. Uh... Wizards? Wizards are worse than elite wizards. In my opinion. Agree. Alright. They can't clone themselves. That's okay. At least I can still hit this guy. Oh, I should have... Why did I not... Stylish. Okay, it's okay. He's dead. He's dead after this turn. Okay. Are you leveling up? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I am. Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you're not here, just, just don't have coops out. Yep. Alright. HP time. I feel like... Whoo -hoo, there oh. it is. Item hog pulling through. Hey, we get I the show. I wish get a power punch, though. I know. But hey, at least that's we get to show item. off... Uh, that's the item you need. We get to show off uh, defensive action storage. Mm -hmm. Lacking confidence? Nah, nah. Here it is! <laughs> this is what it was for! Wait, I don't have multi-bounce. Hold on, I have to run. <laughs> oh, you could keep them down. I... Them. But it'll take forever. Yeah, it'll take forever. I'm gonna do multi-bounce. Bro, oh. it literally every time, man. What is happening? I always have to double run. Jesus. Okay, okay. Oh, give me a piercing blow. Multi-bounce. Okay, there we go. Okay! I'm gonna... I don't know what it is! See ya! Nothing good. <laughs> We're gonna power shell... Wait, actually, I can power and then power shell. Nice. I mean, the game hates him by giving him Koopa Trolls, but at the same time, we have like we got two life rooms and a boost sheet, so I don't know. <laughs> True. Nice. That was a very good triple dark Koopa Troll floor. Nice super shroom. Ooh, fan of members. This one's pretty safe. Like you won't get. <gasps> oh, this is a nasty loadout, though. Oh yeah, you do get a patrol. Yeah, I'm easy. I know this is your favorite loadout. It's just, it's interesting. There's four <laughs> different enemies. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna try to fire drive. Like, whatever. I'll just, just retreat my FP back. Wow! Ow! No, dude! <laughs> Actually, oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do this. Okay, I'll take it. <clears throat> I'm just gonna sweet treat anyway. Oh my god. Nice. Not bad. Got some HP for Goom. 
No! Oh. Ow! Lucky! Okay. Let's actually, uh... Kill this chomp? Oh, we filmed that already. Crazy. Yeah, we, we've shown it. <laughs> Alright, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna kill this guy. Dude? Two frames! Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It was close. Yeah, it was close. You're getting better. I just hate Power Shell, man. It's okay. We'll sweet treat. It's all good, it's all good. You have last 10 P? Uh, I do, but it's not equipped. Okay. You don't really need it. Yeah. Oh, you could show, like, barrel looping against Bone Tail. Barrel like, looping? Like last 10 P. Oh, that's some, that's some Lex level stuff. <laughs> 4 HP heal on Goombella every turn. So you don't even need coops. That requires a lot of HP for Mario. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna be switch training every turn though, it depends on, like, your audience, I'd say. That's true. But, apparel action command will get you a lot of star power. That is true. Yeah, it's a uh, 60 FPS. Oh, no. Dark oh! Powers, this is. This is nasty. Uh. I think I have to Thunder Ridge here. So let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Um, because I have. Oh my God! Yeah. Because because Fire Drive is gonna do five four. Yeah. So. Oh, that's tough. And I have to take care of the Swoopula with uh the Ice Storm. Oh right. That is. Yeah. That's. Yeah. So we got a Power Shell Thunder Ridge. That's the only way. Yep. This is a really bad loadout. This could be a run stopper. Like, the items are really destroying this loadout. <clears throat> but what item are you gonna get from this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna tattle. You might as be asking why I'm tattling. Uh, it's for star power, because you can stylish. You get. Eh, a fair amount. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I'm hoping for an ice storm. That would be amazing, that'll, actually. That'll make things interesting. <clears throat> I'm pretty good on FP. I think I'm gonna level up HP one more time. And then probably BP and FP next. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's why HP um, could be important. Ooh, just... there it is. High Storm. RNG, RNG can screw you over. <laughs> yep. I mean, high HP would make that kind of loadout like a, at least tolerable to survive. Yeah. Like. Even, like, you can't super guard a stopwatch, right? Nope, so, nope. We've made it, can do about it to the 80s. So like I said, the 70s and 80s are some of the hardest floors uh, you can get. They're all really nasty. The only saving grace for the 80s is that many, many enemies, almost all of them, attack the front only. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest difference. So... In lower HP Mario runs, you just have Goombella in front, and you're usually okay. Um, so it's every enemy except Tarantulas. Yep. And... So since Mario has such a high base HP at this point, we'll be putting Mario in front a lot. Um, well, I guess you can put Goombella in front too. The thing is, like, you have to swap between keeping Mario in front to soak up damage and 
you know, uh, preserving Koops. Bro. And this is probably the worst loadout you can get. <laughs> Just because with, there are... With shows. fog? <laughs> yeah. Oof. God, I hate Arantulas. <laughs> Ow, I can't see them, dude. Uh, go away, Fog. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna put Koops in. I'm just gonna fire Dragon. again. Keep Mario in front. Nice. Flurry sucks. Flurry sucks, too. Uh, just gonna hit Bug. Nice. Just happy you hit. Flurry's not an enemy. <laughs> Whew, okay, that was uh, dicey, but we're, we're good, because I have power jump for this guy, and you can multi-bonk with Kumbala. Mario can also suck. Just use the best patch in the game, HV Drain. <laughs> I'm going to do a showcase on that at some point. HV Drain? You should. Yeah, yeah I've done one. It was dope. It was, uh, it was fun. That badge is so bad in this game, though. But you have to make it clear that it's TTYD HP Drain. It's true. And it's the badge, HP Drain, not the item. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> True. Okay. This is a great, uh, one. Oh my god, I accidentally pressed the... A button. This is a great enemy to use Koops against the wall for. It's a. Well, first striking a Bristol is better than getting hit. But yeah, luckily. Oh, I'm gonna switch you for safety, because Goombella could die if you don't. Guard. Does it have the same name in Japanese? I bet it doesn't. Yeah, it could be just a translation thing. <clears throat> okay. So, Bristols are immune to fire. But yep. you can just... Power shell them. That's why power blocks should be used for darker patrols for the most part. <laughs> Speaking of power blocks. <laughs> Speaking of uh, power blocks. But they can be pretty tricky if your partner is dead. Like if Koops is dead. Yeah. You're gonna have to super guard them. Okay. So despite what you may think, prop plants are pretty terrifying enemies. Uh, nine damage is no joke. Like even guarding it is like does not feel good. Ow? All right, so that guy's basically dead. We're just gonna multi bonk. Yeah, just <clears throat> kill that guy. Oh, so close! I was so close. I'm kind of mad. I, I thought I had it. He choked. I choked. Oh, too a little too late. Okay. Luckily, we're leveling up. I think we're doing FP. Well, 
was that 82? That was, no, 83, okay. Yeah, 83, because we just did uh, dark crystals. 84 next. <clears throat> And you can't get Arantulas here. It's nice. Oh, oh, this is 80, the best. I think this is the best one. 84 and... I think 85 and 89. You can't get Arantulas. Yep, yep. That's what makes um, Peril Swapping on 89 so much easier. Oh, which we're gonna go over. Yep. So, uh, get ready to say goodbye to Peril Coops. Ow. Holy... Because he's going away soon. It's been fun, Coops. <laughs> Do I still have piercing blow on? Whatever. <laughs> I have the FP for it, I guess. I really don't go when I get hit with the heart. I got I first struck from pretty far away. How is Coops doing so much damage? I'll show you. This lovely little badge called Mega Rush P. <clears throat> that increases attack power by 5 when your partner is in peril, which means peril is 1 HP. So, this is it. Carried as usual? Whoa, man! You're right, though. <laughs> Oof! Wait a minute! Am I getting a Thunder Rage out of this? Most likely. Actually, I don't know the exact chance. Dude. Oh. <laughs> that was close. You could have died. Uh, I know, could have died, seriously. <laughs> I, I was kind of hoping it would use the Thunder Rage, so you get into peril. Would have been amazing. Can you imagine? Coops carrying me? I mean, facts. There it is. I'll admit, I kind of carried Cappy in that level zero pit. Damn, like, bro. That was, that was back in the day, though, where we were both just starting up. I just happened to know a little bit more on the fly strategy. No. Okay, okay. Yes, I would agree. I would agree. I did. That bone tail fight was really dope for me, though. When we, yeah, I can't when help, when I we can't first help completed with, it. <laughs> I can't help him with bone tail, though, because I. I I'm not as good as Super Guarding. I think at this point, like, level 0 pit is, like, nothing to me. When I did that level 0 scavenge pit, like, four years ago, I crushed it, besides Bone Tail. Oh. Okay, we need to talk about this. So, Peril Swapping is usually done on 89, so movers are actually kind of bad to get. We're lucky. Oh, nope, nope. Can you move away, bro? We're just gonna say... We're on 86 right now. So... We're going to take two floors down to get to 88. And unfortunately, you'll have Arantulas on 88. Yeah, but unfortunately. You don't want to skip. No. 89. Nope, you can't. You re unless I somehow had already gotten Goombella in peril, which I have not. <laughs> also, if you're not comfortable with um, 6 HP Goombella, you could use a Super Shroom or... I'm thinking about it. And this is the worst loadout of the game. It's so bad. This, or five <sighs> elite wizards, or four poison buffs. Okay. <clears throat> so it's just super guarding now. Oh my god. <laughs> Ow! It's okay, they're hitting Mario, I'm not as worried. Okay, good. If they had attacked Goombella, it would have been much worse. Because, you know, Mario has 35 HP right now, so it's like, taking damage with Mario is not nearly as big of a deal. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're gonna, anyway we're gonna use this. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I was gonna say, these guys can hit hard, though. You, you, oh, yeah. HP can go from, like, 50 <laughs> to zero really 
fast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're no joke. <clears throat> oh, 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 my God. Oh, there. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, this is really good, actually. Destroy them. Well, you're gonna level up. So, honestly, I'm, honestly, I, I think, think you, should, you should still level up with Gumilla. I agree. No, I agree just completely. Because, just because of like the nice enemies you get on 89. Yep. Yep. And I guess for tutorial purposes too. Yeah, we have to do, we have to show the actual swap. This was a very lucky situation that I just got put in. FYI. FYI, like, I still have three live streams, by the way. Like, there's really no threat right now to me. Like, even though these guys do a lot of damage, it's not like I'm in fear of a game over. It's just like, I lose one live stream, you know? Okay, we're gonna do BP this time. My final BP level up. Probably not leveling up BP anymore. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna show you... What a <laughs> that was that was a really wild <laughs> battle. Um, thank you for the bits, Akami. Okay, so now we're gonna show you a traditional peril swap. And the it reason we're doing this is that Peril Gumilla just works better in the nineties and against Gonto compared to Coops. Because there are more aerial enemies in the nineties. And yes. Yeah, that's, that's wow, this is it. this is amazing actually. This is really good. Hoops with power shell against like enemies like elite wizards don't do much damage. Yeah, and, and poison puffs, you know, they can be in the air. Swampires in the air. Bobbles. They're just, just bobbles. Yeah, they're they're just fire drive fodder. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so those and, and and very importantly, Goombella can KO an amazing Daisy in peril, whereas Coops cannot. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, this is, was an amazing loadout. I'm going to show you why right now. Uh, Sp Spunias do 7 damage. If I guard twice and that one hit me, that's 19 damage. And now we just let him hit me. Yep. So, so these guys have 7 attack. Um, the Bristols have um, 8 attack. And... Pranos have night attack, so you could just kind of do math <clears throat> that way. And those are the only enemies you can get on this floor, which is really nice. They only attack the front. Yep. Now, this is actually kind of an ideal-ish scenario. Having Coops going into the 90s is okay, because you at least get that, like, big bursty first strike. But other than that, Coops, you're not going to be seeing Coops, like, at all. Okay, <laughs> and we have the bone... the bone tail... Run saver sometimes. <laughs> okay, I think at this point, yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna probably run if I need to. I'm I'm kind of sad you didn't use chill out once. <laughs> I'm and sorry. You won't, you won't be needing it for the 90s because none know. of the enemies strike first. I know. <laughs> well, here we go. Do you equip double dip? No, Let's but see. I'm just I'm just gonna see what it's like first. Yeah. Okay, this isn't too bad. Nah, this isn't too bad. This might be, uh... Oh, this is Zap rough. You think you'll need Zap Tap? Mmm, I'm actually probably gonna Fire Drive and Multibonk. Okay. Yeah. I think Koops might just die, honestly. But that's okay. I he needs to heal. Maybe I'll Sweet Treat. Okay, you know what? If I want to be safe and conserve... Let's, let's be safe and conserve. Okay, okay. We're gonna do that. Uh, take off item hog, so we don't need that anymore. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're just gonna run in with uh, we're gonna f we're gonna fire drive and multi bonk one of these guys, and then or we're not gonna fire drive. I'm just gonna multi bonk one of the elite wizards, and then I'm gonna try to I'm gonna sweet treat with coops and. Try and keep him at five, so that he has double S and P, putting like 
not letting yeah, him die. That's like the. You'll be able fun. to survive one attack. Yeah. With last ten feet. Oh, damn it, dude. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, so now we sweet treat. Now I'm just. I, I just. Would have helped if you first struck with Coops. Maybe. But. I don't think I don't think he would have done any damage because oh you're right you're right maybe I'm I'm tripping whatever yeah so I already have so four we already have four this doesn't, this doesn't guarantee Coop surviving yeah unfortunately it'll it might it could help ow Ooh. okay Mario nice. Coops lives! <laughs> so like oh oh you know what you could do? You could do um fire drive and then multi bonk the swamp fire. And that's then the elite I'm, wizard Yeah, that's what drop. I'm that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so elite wizards are pretty exploitable. Um when they're all when they're alone, they will always clone themselves. Yep. It's the one saving grace of elite wizards. This water? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, I see. We're still good. I know, but just like, really? Okay. I do not. Oh, well, I didn't need it, but here we go. I wasn't even trying to time it or anything. Okay. So if if these wizards, so by the way, normal wizards don't clone. That's what makes them so deadly. Especially um, in level zero, like yeah, you take advantage of this a lot. Mm -hmm. with your star power management. Yeah, you just and then um, these, these guys, these guys take damage every turn because they're burned. Yep. They'll keep doing this. So actually, what That's you good. can do, which I'm gonna do right now, is I'm actually gonna sweet treat just in case I don't level up. At this point, Coops doesn't need to stay in danger. I can just heal fully if I. Can help it. Oh my god, how did I miss that flower, bro? I how did I miss that flower? <laughs> god damn it. My perfect sweet treat. How did you miss the poison shroom? Oh my god. Easy. Easy. And he still has a whole other, like, turn of burn, so I mean, we're just gonna get back to full star power, just in case. And let him kill himself. I'm telling you right now, if Elite Wizards didn't have this one flaw in them, oh my god, they would probably be the hardest enemy, for sure. Yeah. Agreed. And that's why I played it safe, I didn't even level up. I think at this point I might be able to just take off Flower Finder. <clears throat> Regular wizards also only heal 6 HP, while Dark Wizards and Elite Wizards heal 10 HP. Oh, look at that! Well, well, well! Oh, it's got a Power Punch too. Alright, so we're you just gonna... A, you have I, an Amhog? It doesn't matter. I think I do actually. Okay. So even though Amazies have a high chance of running away, you always want to deal with them first. Always. It's not worth it. Yep. Especially if they put you to sleep. Like. Okay. I don't want to sleep stomp. That's a mistake. Um. That's okay. Oh, Ice Storm. I know, but I, I want to save it for the four. In case I get the four, you know? That's okay. We'll be fine. I still have so many live streams, man. It's, it's interesting He's... you've been using Power Jump a lot compared yeah. to Power Bounce. Well, honestly, I just need to put it on. <laughs> That's a mistake. Ow! <laughs> oh. That would have killed Coops. That would have killed Coops. Goodbye! Oh. No, 
guys. Yeah. Always try to guard that, too. Don't even think about trying to super guard that. Don't be flashy. Don't be stupid. <laughs> hey, Coops. Did Coops something. did something! Woo! <laughs> we are on floor 92. Oh. Look at all those star points. I think you're going to get 100, maybe? Uh, could be. Maybe. Just uh, miss the action command here, by the way. Make it a little faster. We get close. Oh, again. What the hell? You pressed A on frame 8 of 8. Oh, I could have super guarded it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that is 100. Nice. No, 90. 90. I mean, it basically 100, considering how close I was to leveling up already. Yeah, so at this point, um, it's just HP all the way, pretty much. Yep. HP or FP, but yeah. mostly HP. Yeah. I might do FP once more, because we got an Evasy Daisy level up, so we just have that extra experience. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. yeah. We're going to show some good stuff for this boat tail fight. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, let's put on. Get rid of multi bounce. Get rid of stand. Stop. Yes. Yes. This is. Uh, this is. Oh, actually, actually, we, we don't need flower finder. Anymore. No, we don't need flower finder anymore either. Um, I'm gonna keep that on. Oh, I don't need this. I'll just put these on. Actually, no. Mario does not need last stand. He has too much HP for that to matter. For coops, in case I get four bobbles. Okay, so 93 and 97 are like the easiest floors you can ask for. Especially if you get this loadout. Yeah, I mean, I think any loadout is pretty much free. Nice. <clears throat> yep. Alrighty, well, you know... <clears throat> so, you don't have to do that, but it we're just trying to speed things up here. Yeah. You could defeat them, like... When you have the HP, like, I see, like, there's no reason not to. Yeah, and you're gonna level up, so it's like... I would have done the same. Yeah. Yo, what up, Mario Man? Oh, Mario Man, you've missed a great stream so far. Alright, so I'm going to do FP once. <laughs> a lot of coins. How many coins do you have? 410. Not even necessary. Yeah, you, don't, you don't really notice it, but it actually it adds yeah. up so, so fast. <laughs> it does. By the way, we're coming up on... um, Jeez. We're coming up... It's What is this? 94, yeah. So, the mover can only appear at 95. After that, a mover will not appear again. Just a little tidbit of info. Oh my god! This food is amazing. Uh, that it's Daisy cool. has a shooting star? I'm actually gonna go for the one without a shooting star. Uh, double amazing daisies. <laughs> I know. That's, I'm, a, that's wait, a run ender. How many daisies have I gotten so far? <laughs> Three so far. In your in your other run, you did like the hundred percent one. You got like six. I know. I got so many. We might we might beat that. I've gotten four so far. Here we go. Nice, perfect. The item check does happen. That's what I thought. Oh my god. Oh. Oh! Uh, who called it? Let's go. <laughs> That's using your noggin, folks. You don't even need to kill it, but you should. <laughs> I'm gonna kill gonna it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, at this yeah. point, I may as well. Yeah, always get the amazing easy. Always. Okay, I'm okay sacrificing a life stream at this point. Like, actually? Yo, we're going for it. Damn it! Not even close, dude. Oh my god, that was so oh. bad. Okay, 
That's fine. I, I super guarded for coops. <clears throat> Alright, we're good now. Goombella kills this guy, and we ha officially have a locked elite wizard. Who I'm going to kill as quickly as possible. Oh, I didn't even mean to. Fuck. <laughs> We're just going to fire drive again, by the way, because, uh, you know, 100 EXP. <clears throat> by the way, um, the super guard for... Again, you don't need to use super guards, right? As we've said, but if you were inclined to try and super guard daisies, it's really not... It's not as bad as you think. I do. Again, I do have a video on it. Um, that being said... Amazing Daisies incite a lot of, like, nervousness, you know, and fear, because it's still 20 damage. So, like, unless you're 100% confident in Daisy Super Guards, I wouldn't even bother learning it. You know, like, it's it's there, and there's, uh, there's resources out there to learn it, but I'm just saying, like, don't mess with 20 damage and the chance to fall asleep. Unless you're super confident. Or if you have so much HP you can guard it, but yeah, yeah. 19 damage is, is a lot. That is a true. You know what? I don't even need these coins. Alright. <clears> no movers. Elites, Let's get five elites. Actually? Yeah, so we could show off um, double thunder ages and <laughs> double thunder. <Dark> <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh god, a stopwatch in the back?! This game wants to kill- they gave me four daisies, they're like, okay, you leveled up too much, it's time to die. <laughs> okay. Alright. This is a very easy loadout. Yeah, that's the classic JD Easter. Five elites with the stopwatch. <clears throat> so as long as you have two thunder rages... It's gonna be funny if he uses it, cause he's gonna he's gonna have one HP left after yeah. this. Yeah, and you fire drive. <laughs> there we go. Even a loadout like this can't stop you. That's a run ender right there. Oh Even yeah. The thunder rages. I mean, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have any life shrooms, that can d absolutely destroy you. You would, you, you know what you would need to do? If, if, um, if you didn't have thunder rages, you would need to multi-bonk Goombella to the point where he has one HP left and then fire drive. Yeah. That's the only way you could do it. And if you had to, you would have to run. If you didn't get that damage, you'd have to run. And you would have to sweet treat and like cycle through like it could take like half an hour probably like to cycle through sweet treats and running to make sure that you can do it and like get to make sure you don't fail any runs like it's tough but it's doable okay we're just gonna keep going at hp uh 35 hp is pretty good i might level up fp once more I said 35 hp i don't know what i'm thinking okay i guess we'll grab how many, the stuff th how many thunder rages do you have left i think i have none Oh, I have one. So I have one. One, one. Okay. That's that's actually not bad. That's not bad. So if we get another five, at least we can. If we get another fiver and I don't use the ice storm, we can thunder rage ice storm. Let's find oh, out. You, you want a thunder rage stopwatch? <laughs> oh well. So this one is just as bad as the five elites. But that's what ice storms for, right? Yep. It is indeed. I'm actually gonna try to. I'm gonna I've kill. Got I've got gonna... three stopwatch holders, one studio. Those. <laughs> I don't remember how I dealt with it. I Imagine not getting the tenant every time. Oh my god. Oh. Just one shot them. Okay. Ice vampires aren't that bad. I think I kill fan. Listen, vampires are like the second easiest enemy. In this set of floors, IMO. Okay. 
Let's ice storm. But even if it's a distant second. I just knew that the other three were gonna get frozen, Amazie. That's all. Calculated. I mean, he, we d we can't super guard a thunder age, right? <laughs> exactly, man. Uh, power bounce. Oh Finally. my god. <laughs> okay, perfect. We've done it! Definitely leveling up again. We don't level up. Yeah, definitely gonna level up again. Up every battle. I know, one. it's actually insane. Time for the Bob Oak floor. What's our health at? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, you know. Coops? No, Coops is gonna die. No. You have last time? Oh, he's good. We're, we're good. We're good. Yeah, just he had, he had Vax HP. Otherwise, yeah. Okay. I would have had to put on last and <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. All right. If, well. If you only had 10 HP though. Uh, oh yeah, he well, would have. Obviously, there's like there's like hundred different ways. You can yeah, I'm gonna do a few once more. Box. I only did it because he had Max. Yeah. Okay. Poison puffs are are probably I hate them probably more than elite wizards. Not that I understand them. Like yeah, I they're, yeah, they're deadly, but no. they just are. I feel like poison puffs have more like potential to do like bursty destroy you damage, and I hate that. You know what? I'm not dealing with this. I would have done the same. Uh, you get fog turn one. Pshhh. Hello? Okay. <laughs> I missed three jumps. You were dancing around each other for a second there. So this is floor 98. Yep. Okay, so that's it for the amazing daisies. No, only four. <laughs> oh, hopefully um, you'll level up one more time. Depends on how many... I guess depends on my loadout, right? I think if you get five elites, then you probably will level up. Yeah. Oof. Gotta be careful with poison puffs, um, attacking coops too, because they can knock him down. Yeah, it's like the old. It's like a really scary thing about them. Like no one else can knock down coops except for the puffs. Making them I mean, extra. Goombas are pretty tough enemies. They can knock boost down. True. All right. Oh, uh, we're just gonna goom. Easy. Easy. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna level up actually. 33? Yeah. I don't think I can. I don't Probably even think not. five elites can level me up. It's all good, though. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, blue sheet. Ultra true. Uh, let me, let me run. You have double me... Huh? You have double I do, but I want to see what I have... I think I should be able to do this. I have Thunder Rage, Stopwatch, and Pow. I think I should be okay. Think I should be okay? Should we go item hog? Yeah, that's a good idea, because they have all those items. Um, okay, let's just see what they have. Oh, okay, so one of them's out of commission, basically, because of this. 
Okay, yeah, let's just. The, I mean, let's just. With the altar room, we'll... Let's just double dip. I'm gonna stop watch first and room. just let's see what. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. Well. May burn a live stream here, but we'll see. Well, now I don't know, cause... Are you serious? <laughs> Wrong guy! Okay. Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not bad, it's not bad. Let's see what I get out of this. Okay, well... All right, man. That kind of sucks. It does kind of suck. Oh, that dude. has three statuses. I think I'm gonna super shroom. Yeah, why not? Or you could also use a life shroom. I could, but I'm just gonna and live. I'm gonna keep. I'm super gonna. Shroom. I could. Right, I got at least I killed the guy in the back. Oh, he dodged that too. Dude. Okay, nice, perfect. Yo, this guy <laughs> with all the statuses. <laughs> oh, all right. nice. We've That's done good. it. Yep, we're now good. You could, you could heal. Yeah. You, you could heal for a few turns. Or one turn. That's what I gotta do. Oh, you drained almost all of your FP. Okay, check this out though. Check this out. Wait, I can't check it out. Wait, I have to fire drive. Wait. I could I mean, heal I could heal first and then fire drive. Yeah. Goombilla can also hit it too. Once um uh, are you thinking next turn to finish him off? Yeah, I'm just gonna let him. I'm just gonna let him do his thing. I'm just gonna try to heal some FP. There it is. Perfect. Let's retreat. Yay! We did it! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> I've been waiting for the perfect sweet treat. Yeah, I'm just gonna appeal with... Uh... Coops and... Go from there. Yeah, having 12... I mean... It's not great, but... It's... It'll be fine. Yeah, you're gonna be sweet treating a lot anyway, so... It is 99, Duplis. Yep. Okay. Oh, dry true. Next. Okay, hey, the, I got a couple. Okay. Let's. Oh, you, hey, use the dry shroom on Coops now. He's. I can't. He's got like. He's got 14 out of 15 <laughs> HP. <laughs> okay. So, Bone Tail. We've been talking about how, like, the 70s and 80s, you know, are pretty crazy. Bone Tail is still a beast. Um, it's not like Bone Tail is like, you know, cra okay, it doesn't matter. Power Jump and Power Smash are the same. <clears throat> okay, we need that. Don't need this. Don't need this. So, at this point, there's a lot of badges now that do not matter. Uh, like, for example, Power Bounce. You don't need Flower Finder because there's nothing else to get. Item Hog, you don't need. Zap Tap doesn't work on Bone Tail. Um, you know, obviously hey, power take, bounce doesn't work. <laughs> take one last 10 P off. Yeah. Keep the other one. Yeah. We're gonna, so I think we should put on lucky day. And I see no reason not to. Um, I would recommend any beginner to at least put on lucky day. It's not bad. And then we can put on pretty lucky, right? What about pity flower? P are you serious? <laughs> I feel sorry for it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> It can stay unused. I'm gonna put on pretty lucky. Oh, 
Remember the Fright Mask? You got it, dude. Just for you, Gift Stack. We actually got some okay-ish items here. It's not bad. It's the Power Punch. That's the... Yeah. So we're gonna sh so so I, I'm I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this in two phases actually, um because I want to show off two things. So first off, I'm gonna show the Goombella Power Punch Madness, um as I like to call it, <laughs> and then I'm gonna watch. I'm, I'm sorry, and then I'm gonna showcase uh Sweet Treat Looping once he's under 100 HP. Nice. So we don't so, even need coops. Yeah. So. Um, nice. I'm gonna have to let people die. <laughs> Actually, I should probably use one of the- I should probably use two of these. Oh, oh, Sweet Treat Looping as in just one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, like Mario versus Bonetail. Just like oh. the, like, the, like, classic, like, you lose both like, your partners, what are you gonna do? Down. Yeah, yeah, exactly, okay, exactly. Sure. I think that's, I think that's good because, you know, not everyone's gonna be able to just super guard Bonetail, like, easily and like do some stuff with him and like kill him easily you know what i'm saying yeah you're gonna show like mario being yeah exactly it's it, HP yeah Street. it's it's useful backup knowledge so i'm actually gonna use two of these life shrooms right now so i can, so i don't have to wait as long <laughs> everyone's gonna be like what are you doing well i gotta be fast i'll use it on mario he needs some life <laughs> okay Yep, and then I'll, I'll show off uh, DAS2, Defensive Action Storage, with this. Um, and yeah, I think we'll be good after that. Okay, I'm just gonna... This is probably okay. Okay, so we're gonna start with Goombella. We're gonna get her power punched, and uh, we'll show you what it's... We'll, I'll, we'll, I'll give you the breakdown. And if I die, well, damn. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to. So, oh, are you going to super guard the breath? In the beginning, yes. Or... In the beginning, yeah. yeah. So I can show defensive action storage. Okay. So the safest super... option, though, is to super guard just to stomp. Yes, um, yes. In a normal pre kill pit run. Yeah, in a normal pre kill pit. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so here's what we're going to do first. So first, we're going to go with Goombella uh, multi bonk looping. So if you have a power punch, you use power punch here. On Goombella. So if you didn't know this, uh, quick change preserves status. So you'll see what I mean. Uh, let's use the earthquake actually because I have low FP right now. The frame counter will show. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try, JJ Easter. Promise. So we're just gonna we're just gonna guard the breaths like a, like what you'd normally do. Okay. Uh, so if you notice, hey, a turn went by. Goombella still has three turns of power punch. Whoa. Well, quick change. <laughs> it saves everything, and you can leave it indefinitely. So Goombella will indefinitely indefinitely be at plus two as long as she's not out when the turn goes. It's uh, super busted, and it's. Uh, one of the best things Quick Change has going for it. So yeah, we're gonna multi -bug. And it's 5 cap on Bone Tail, so 25 yep. damage per turn. Even without, um, Power Punch, you'll yep. get 15 damage in, yep. so... And, uh, because you Stylish, you get a lot of star power, so you can, like, kinda... You know what I'm saying? You can do a lot. Ooh, that was almost perfect. I wasn't even thinking about it. I would not put it in D tier. <laughs> okay. We'll swap back out. Ooh. Look at all that star power! I can sweet treat again! Insane! Yep, gotta hit the stylish though. Yeah, you gotta hit the stylish. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, Koops! No, my Koops health! 
I just let it rip, man. I didn't even see the poison shroom. Oh my god. Okay, I got six still. That's good. Oh my god, are you gonna stomp, bro? Oh no. There we I've, go. I've Perfect been hit. <laughs> Actually, that is pretty good. Okay, I need to hit a super guard at least once. I gotta hit a super guard, man. What am I gonna do? I guess I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking about it, actually. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah! Here you go, Coops! Oh! I didn't even see it coming. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Oh, he's below 100 now. Well, I'm gonna wait for him to heal. I'm gonna wait for him to heal at least once. I really want to show off the defensive action storage thing. Uh, I think I'm gonna let Coops die, though. Oh? Okay, we got the super guard. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys something. I'm gonna show you guys something dope. I'm gonna show you guys something dope. Alright, here we go. Remember, you can see my inputs. You can see my button inputs, right? You can see the A button, X, Y, R, L. You get the drill. You can see them in the bottom, right? You can see my little button inputs. Okay, check this out. I'm just gonna head bunk. No! Please use breath. Okay, no button presses. Oh my god, Goombella super guarded. <laughs> um, JD Aster just put out a video about this. I highly suggest you check out his YouTube channel um, and check it out. It goes over what just happened there in depth. Basically, uh, super guard breaths, you, it only looks at your super guard for Mario and then the back partner just does whatever you did. So if you guard, not guard, like not guard or super guard, the back partner just does it automatically when you press the button. Uh, if you don't get hit because of lucky or invisible or something, uh, the game doesn't know. It, it it basically just takes what you last input because it doesn't know what to do for the back person. So it just takes that last input, and because I super guarded last, it's automatically a super guard. If I got hit or if I guarded, it would automatically guard or have Goombella take the damage. But because I super guarded, it's a free super guard. You can actually sit here f for the entirety of your invis now. And just not have to worry about Goombella dying besides a, you know, uh, a thing falling from the ceiling. Or fog or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just gonna defend again. I'm gonna just... Oh, I missed it again. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let them die now because, uh, we gotta... Explosion was probably a bad idea. Mm, it's okay. He's gonna survive fun. another turn. Yeah, that video JD Easter put out. Oh, gotta watch it. It's so there's, good. There's other quirks to it as well, especially in the Japanese version. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna sweet treat here just to get my FP up. <clears throat> Oh my god, frame 8 of 8. Insane, dude. <clears throat> okay, we got a heal. Okay. Go. Nice. That's really good, actually. Okay, I'm actually gonna appeal. I'm gonna swap to Goombella. So I can heal with Mario. And Goombella will still die. <laughs>
And you're gonna, uh, again, this is just, I showed you, so, if Yai just kept going with Kumbella, he'd be dead already. But I'm gonna show you the backup. Um, this backup is really good if you don't have Quick Change. By the way, if you use Power Plus or something, this is a great backup. So, I really want to show it, because, um, your Bone Tail fights can go bad. Bone Tail fights can go south really fast. Um, so... We're just oh, gonna I love that you. perfect 6 HP on Coops. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know, something about that triggers me. The 6 HP? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 6 HP is the worst. You never want to be at 6. Well, sometimes you want to be at 6. 2 HP is pretty bad, too. Eh, it's okay. Ooh, well, lucky! Yeah, so we're just going to chip away now with fire drives. Uh... Please use breath. Thank you. Stop! Ah, stop! Stop! I was wondering. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, at least he showed it again. I did. We're just not gonna get Coops off. I'll get one. No, dude! Okay, I gotta put- I gotta put Coops in front, man. I gotta, it, I gotta put it. I gotta put him in front. Away. Yeah. 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 I gotta put One him damage. in front. Are Auto you punch again? Are you serious? Oh my God. That's insane, dude. Oh. Okay, shy guys, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, shy guys. Yeah. Here it is. Oh. Okay. On the left. I I couldn't I could not like. So by the way, uh, the Bone Tail has. Bo uh, Hooktail and Gloomtail have two different animations for their breaths. Uh, Bonetail uses both. The ones that use Gloomtail are way worse statuses. They're freeze and sleep. They're really bad. The other two are confuse and shrink. Confuse is, is pretty bad, but it's definitely not as bad as freeze. It, it doesn't matter. 30% chance doesn't matter, man. Do you know how many people I've seen die from 30% chance? <laughs> I'm not rolling the dice. I can't do it. I can, however. Confuse do six. is pretty bad too. Yeah, confuse is pretty bad. I like sh like shrink is nothing. Yeah, shrink is whatever. Okay, two HP should be fine. Yeah, they're different. Okay, another heal. Thank you, Duplus. Okay. Just being alive is making it harder. I know, man. He's supposed to die. Okay, he's dead. Okay, here we go. So you're you're staring down. Listen, it's wild that it took me longer to purposely kill my partners than like. Sometimes you're just playing and he just destroys you. I mean that's true, JK's turn. Okay, so um, when you a couple things have changed now that Mario is alone and his partners are down. One, um, you get more star power when you when you like attack and stuff when you're when you or your partners are in danger or peril when a partner is dead or knocked out it's treated like they're in peril which is huge for sp regen two sweet treat now replaces all partner hearts with mario hearts meaning that you can heal literally 14 up to 14 hp which means that if you're just guarding everything bone tail ha like you are literally out healing bone tail all the time 
So, I'm just going to show you kind of what that looks like. Yep, and you'll get those luckies from time to time too. So. Yep. So, at this point, it's like, unless you get really screwed over, uh, it's, it's ba the fight's basically over. It just takes a long time. Yeah, the only thing that can screw you over at this point is uh, stage effects, and probably if you miss a, miss a breath guard and he freezes you. Yep, yep. It's always safer to guard now. But again, you have so much HP. I tried to super guard that, by the way. I tried. Dude, this guy is really gunning for me. <laughs> Alright, let's get a much better heal this time, please. And also, if he stomps, you know, you can super guard the stomp. A lot of, even like, a lot of casuals I see generally have a pretty easy time super guarding the stomp. Um, so that's like a free attack, basically. Like 12 HP? That's, that's huge, man. And the luckies, like it just, it keeps coming. Yep, you got one pretty lucky on, right? I do. Yeah. I, yep. L pretty lucky and lucky day. That's that's pretty good. I think that's like 30, 39 percent. And because you're sweet treating so much 30. to like keep your health up, uh, you get you get um oh my god, you get a nice stream. I wasn't even ready for that bite. You get a nice stream of FP, so you don't really run out. I'm not saying you get it every time, it's just like, more often than not, like even if you're hitting like over f only over 50% slightly of your stomp super guards, like, that's enough to like, not feel threatened by the damage you're taking when you're alone. As you see, it takes two turns, basically, right now. Um, so... Amazing, he does that to cost stage effects. Oh my god, that's weird. Because the stage can go wild when he stops. Oh yeah, this audience is not good. By the way, this is also dependent on your audience. Right now, uh, it ain't looking too hot. <laughs> Ow! Don't explode. Oh my god, he didn't explode. I mean, I'm gonna try to go for this bingo too. <clears throat> At least you don't have Dry Bones audience. That's true. That's like the worst thing he could get. I didn't need this bingo, by the way. Just would it, I, I only wanted this bingo for the audience, not for the HP, because that guy's about to explode. Oh, I, I want to see it happen. Electric Bone Tail? I don't know, man. I uh, just do the things. <laughs> I'm built different. Ow, dude. Ow. So I mean, at this point, I don't even think Bonesio can kill me. I do need to. I do need to heal, though. <laughs> no. Okay. Sweet treat. I can't even power jump him at this point, <clears throat> which is wild. Nice, got them all. He has two defense, Dupus. I don't know. It there it is. Look at that. My entire audience is gone. Nope, there's two left. Okay, oh, okay, okay. okay. Oh, I should have put on. I should have put on power smash. I don't know. And what I was thinking. fire drive caused things from <clears throat> things to fall from the ceiling. I don't know about that. 100% to electric. <laughs> Dude. I actually have to appeal. Mm, I wasn't lo I was looking at chat. 
I want to try to. Right? So my what? Your fright mask. No. That's Wait. Gone. They didn't give Sack one you to use it. I think it is gone. Yeah. When did I use it? Oh, rip. Dark lucky deuce. <laughs> it was dark. It, I think that was it. It was it. Oh, another perfect sweet treat. Nice. Man, look at all these pseudo super guards I'm getting. <laughs> nope, it's over now. You can just wait it out. Yeah. Don't even need to heal. Oh my god! It's over! Yep, that's why boos are really good. We're gonna let him die. With no dignity. Okay, I'm gonna try to... Bite! Oh. Two frames early? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And that's it. So, that's it. That's pre hooktail pit. Two different methods to beat bone tail. No, barely any grinding. Like, basically no grinding. Just going through the game quickly, selling badges, and going through. More dignity than a super card? Well, that's true. I think the hardest part of this was getting to the point where I could do the sweet treat looping. <laughs> it's just... And your reward, one of the worst badges in the game. Aw, yeah. Well, let's see what level we ended at, huh? GG, indeed. At least level 20, I think. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I had green curtains. Because I, I saw those purple things fall from the ceiling. Oh, yeah, the worms? Yeah. 23. Oh, that's not bad. Bone tail can be intimidating, but... I mean, once you got the strats down... Honestly, like... The other floors are probably more difficult. I would agree. For sure. The thing about bone tail is that, like... As long as you can hit the breath guards... And you can, again, hit, like... You don't need to super guard Bone Tail at all. Like, again. Um, especially if you're keeping your partners alive and stuff. But, um. You can if still you get can, too good, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. If you. As long as you're pretty decent with your sweet treats and you can hit the guards and maybe some stomp super guards, you should be okay. And, like, again, the luckies kind of pulled through, too. Like, sometimes dodging those luckies is enough to, like, live. Like, to get back to a really good position as far as HP and your sweet treat loops go. And, again, if you, uh... <laughs> you saw it there first, uh, Goombella shreds him, especially with a power punch. So... Mm -hmm. I, I... Bone Tail is the, is the kind of boss where it's, like, it takes a little bit to learn, but once you learn it, like, you're good to go. Yeah. In, you just gotta get in, there. In other runs with more restrictions, though, like, he's a beast. Oh, yeah, he's absolutely terrifying. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, that's it for pre hooktail That's it for our tutorial. Um, I hope you guys got something from it. This will be definitely be going up on YouTube, and I'll uh, definitely be, like, you know, tagging all the times... I'm probably going to tag the times for each set of floors um, so in case you want to see them. Um, luckily, we didn't get a lot of movers. I'm actually happy about that because we were able to fight like most sets of enemies, which was good. Oh, yeah. I don't think yeah. we skipped any enemies. Yeah. Not that I can think of. Playtime is 4.31. It did take a little bit. <laughs> but factor in when we were like sitting there and like chatting and like explaining things um but yeah guys uh that's it um for the tutorial uh but don't worry Coop and I have more stuff that we we want to collab on um so I hope you guys enjoyed this I I thought it was dope I think uh we gave out a lot of info <laughs> It was, it was good. I mean, yeah. I haven't done this before, so. Yeah, thank you for I joining me. Have, yeah, no, no, thank you for having me. Um, 
We have more ideas coming on. Coming in. Yeah, we cool. have we have some stuff. We have some stuff cooking. So expect more Cappy Coop collabs. I think a pre-hooked pit tier list is definitely going to be in the works. <laughs> yeah.